Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 holy. Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 holy. One name, that was the last word before the thing cut off. Oh, assalamu alaikum, yeah, jama. Peace on to you, anyway you be. Welcome to another edition of One Man Went to More, you know, as usual. Nigeria first, we put Nigeria first. We talk about anything that has to do with Nigeria, good, bad, and ugly. But most importantly, we find trying to find solution. We analyze the problem and try to find solution. And uh, 
to the problem that we analyze. And this is not just done by me. A lot of people would come in and join me on the show too. So today, it's not going to be any different. But if there's anything, it's going to be more entertaining. The politics is uh, it's becoming more interesting by the day. You know, the the concourse and the, <laughs> it's becoming more on the news. And today, today actually. When I when I see the you know when I first saw the, the headline when I first see the, the news that the uh, Kokoso is being pressured to to collapse its structure <laughs> at that point many boys hit my head many many boys you know the likes of one man we know they talk say for the past three years that the uh, Kokoso will not last two months on the train to Kulata going and supporting that idea. I mean, pretty much everywhere and every platform, you know, I go with my Kokoso and, uh, you know, Bodos, we know, and Bodos, we don't know. And after all the prince that precedes him, they will always end up with uh, you know, collapsing structure for Tunubu, Atiko, you know, just. But uh, one voice stand out, one particular voice stand out among all those many, many voices were here. Yeah. And then uh, the voice of, uh, one of my former coach, coach Aki Ade in the Badon, Adamasi Bato uh, Liberty Stadium. You know, I remember the voice of that uh, coach. Now, by the way, now the man named me Ajale Koko. I give me that nickname, Ajale Koko. He's a 400 meter coach, an old guy, handled us with the military mentality. I remember waiting in talk, my voice stand out, and he said, the man always said one thing, that Fred, OVA, the game of final is a game of anybody. The game of final is a game of anybody. Once you don't reach final, it can go either way. Anything can happen. Man. Again, another voice say come again from there. I remember the words of uh, Coach uh, Akiyemi Samuel of Ikiti, the former uh, coach that trained uh, Koya, Nigerian, very fierce, good, blue, very beautiful, and naturally bulky. Yeah. It's a beast. First guy to run, I think is it the first Nigeria to run nine nine seconds, nine nine two, I think. He ran that in uh, Juba, South Africa. That coach, Coach Akia Akiemi Samuel, aka Coach Henry, may so rest in peace. Again, he always say Fred OV. I could not say my name now, Fred too. Fred OV. The game of final is not usually the fastest guy that win the race is the guy with the biggest heart because once you are in shape definitely that confidence comes from now your heart regardless of who they they compete with you is the guy with the biggest heart of the day who carry the day that's exactly what is happening Konko says it's not just in shape that guy is not going to drop down for anybody. All the way. <laughs> all the way. That's that. I like, keep saying that all the way. So the man is in shape. And trust me, he has a very big heart to go all the way. So, that being said, we'll get into that. No, everybody will disagree with me. I won't say a lot. Everybody could disagree with me. Oh, I don't talk about you. Go there, you go there, but. If I, if I say anything to go by by the words of coach, I can add the coach, I can hear Samuel Lovikiti, Andy Badon, veteran men with uh, decades of experience in the field. So I think I, I will, I will go with their words than every other person that will come and doubt me today on Concourse. Anyway, thank you in advance to anyone that is coming on the screen today. Everybody that will be acting on the comment section, looking forward to another cracker. If you are out there in your house, today is Saturday. You are jogging, exercising, walking your dog in the supermarket, having a picnic, wherever you are. 
any way they do. So you are hearing this voice and seeing these pictures. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for riding with us. And we are using at the same time to support the channel, not just by your presence, or by your uh, uh, comments. But even as you are watching, sitting on the couch, as you are driving anywhere, you can support us by buying the coffee. Go to the, 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 the website, click on that link, and three buttons you go. Buy a coffee, you can buy as many as you want. Trust me, we do the platform good. Anyway, let's go in to the backstage and see. As usual, a large doctor evangelist, Angelico. I don't know why that that name. I don't know I see the best. I, I want my name back. Nigeria has the population. Oh my name back. I don't know why. Good, 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 good morning. Good, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Who call you? Who call you? Why, you are not a why, Who call you? Why, why Baba Tish, they talk like woman now? Uh, I've been <laughs> a double person him, B. No, no, my, my no, no. I did uh, day for woman body this no, morning. No, no, no. Mr. Jenny, good, good, good morning. You know, I, I didn't want to time up this morning because, but I saw the topic of him of the. I saw the topic. I'm like, I I need to come up and 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 embarrass the view this morning. That this is like, <laughs> I, I'm like, ah, I'm like, finally, finally, you know? I, 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 I came <laughs> up with it for today. We told you, you did not listen. You were here championing this man, and we warned you, but no. Yeah. Just like if we must say it goes, it will be like a film for the eye. <laughs> where they will declare go, where Yakubu, Yakubu, and the next time I will declare go, go so as the winner of the 2023 election. It will be like, where? So, that uh, time, you have to reach my secretary, to my manager, to my agent, to everybody before you get to me. So, so Ovi, what, what is the difference, <laughs> the difference between you and Ola? That simply that Babakari will win. So, what's the difference between you two? Okay, okay, okay. This is too much. I'm I can't take this. I'm not listening to you now. I'm not going to come after you. Be careful. Are you talking about. 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 Are you this is so too you much. Don't believe, you don't believe in miracle. You don't know. I mean, you don't believe that <laughs> God, only God can. Uh, you, you, I mean, we don't know what can still happen tomorrow. Like what? Maybe, um, um, uh, what's the name of that man? Uh, Bakari. Maybe he's going to be our next president. He's a man of God. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. hey, so, uh, just, just look. Uh, um, 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 Babati. Just believe. What? And don't no, no, ask questions. Believe. Right? Have faith. Have faith. Like, faith no, is the, okay, is the okay. strongest word okay. in that okay. Um, uh, okay. Okay. In, in that book. That car is done. Your man is done. Get over it. Join the winning side. Let's move on. All this uh, denial. You know. You know. It's, it's, it's all Kubaros of, of, of grief. You are right now. You are. You are denying right now. You are yet to get to. to Acceptance, you're gonna you know, grieve for a little bit, get angry, then come to, to, to just accept it. So, I, I know it takes a while to adjust, but I'm just encouraging you to, to speed up the process so we can move on with the you know serious candidates. But all these ones that you are, you know, you, just know, what? Yeah. you know, what the only thing I have for you is that it is on officially. We are busy anywhere we meet, it is on. Okay, it is not That's on. It. Never took light. This is too much. This is too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah, not. Yeah. I, I will not let this go. I will not let this one. It is on. Anywhere no, I see you, no, it's no, on. No, 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 no. Look at the topic now. Look at the topic you posted. You said Congress is on a prayer to send that for article. You just put it. It's not me now. It's one man that put it there. Look at the topic. As when does that? Translate to Konkozo as collapse structure. There, there is no smoke without fire now. There, there, there's no smoke without the weapon. How did they say? Young, it? young man, fire there's in? fire, there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. A boy in Tunubu's house, Atiku's house, Obi's house, there's smoke everywhere. Okay. That's why I say at this point, 
Mm-hmm. And it's not the fittest. Financially, it's the guy with the biggest ads and the guy in shape. That you mm-hmm. can find with Kukuzo. Man of prestige, you're in California. Why are you act like you're in New York? What, what, what are you wearing? <laughs> you're in California <laughs> now. What, what is this? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me let me let me let me intervene on Baba TV. Do you know what the weather is here? Uh what? It's always funny. Good, 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 good the weather. The weather is the weather is about 50 something here. And you know. And so what, what is what is that? That, that is common spring. You know, these Californians. What it's for, it was 40 something this morning. I'm just where is Baba T say? Where is Baba T? I'm in I am in Boston now. You know, you know, bro. I'm in Boston. Oh my so. God. Yeah, um, Baba T, I know me and your body no be the same now. Nah. Yeah, you know, I can't tell a little weather as much as I've been here. You are so, you are in yes. the house now. You are in the house. Don't you, why are you wearing this in the house? You know? Because I don't want to show the whole of my body. Baba T, yeah. that's what I, that's me. I Baba T, for why you feel violent? Why you start with ba- violent this morning? No, no, Baba T. You know, you know, you know. Next one is Obi. Obi will step down very soon, so I can I can go against one of them. Baba T. Oh. Make you not begin fight with me this morning, okay? It is same in electricity bill. It is yeah. You don't want pay electricity bill. You are talking about you, know you are talking about heat. my hoodie. Now, now you are talking about my my principal. You know one put on the guitar. You know yes. Yeah, that man no. That man no want pay electricity bill. bill. No, I don't want pay electricity bill. You <laughs> live in California. That man no want to pay electricity bill. You live in California. Electric will be if it be like two k a month. So <laughs> it's nah, okay. Now nah, nah, California is there. Now California is there. Uh, I don't know. They no. They no send I people did. there. They go charge them. Are they save money now? Nah. Are they save money nah. <laughs> <laughs> now? Hey, 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 now stop them that you don't do it. Hey. Hey, Obi go need that money. Obi go need that money. We are, we are still going to talk about uh, donation. Obi will need that money. We are talking about uh, party day donation because uh, it's as if this uh, monetary design is working. <laughs> Whatever they mean. Obi, 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 Obi. Yeah. on a more serious note, you know, like the, the topic says for, for article. But I thought it was something yeah, with uh, hey, boy, hey. Hey, let's uh, let's no, no, let's, let's hear from uh, wait. Who, who is there? You know? Hey, it's a uh, chief Gomez, it's it's chief Gomez. It's him, it's him, it's him. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he's telling you, he's telling you, oh, he's okay. telling you his name. Listen to his name, yeah. But look, so, tell, tell him your name. You... Tell, tell him your name, Marshall. Tell him, Marshall. Oh, Mr. Marshall, Texas. how are you doing? Texas. Say, I'm okay. Up, oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, he's doing okay. How are y'all doing today? Good morning. Oh, he, has, he has the kind of the structure of your face in a minute. It sounds it's like. It's oh, it's it's spitting, <laughs> oh, really? It's a, spitting, it's a spitting image of you, Alexander. Yes. Uh, you, if, if, if you ever go bald, that's what you would look like. If you yes, go bald, exactly. Really? Yes, wow. I was completely I think, I think, like you were, I, I, I think I must have put on a lot of weight yeah. that I, I might need to lose a little bit of weight. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, did uh, Alexander take off his hat? I was like, no, he doesn't wear hey. hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway, how, how are you guys doing? Uh, 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 Coco, is Ajale Coco there? Yeah, he's here. I'm uh, being more, I'm being more, I'm I uh, yeah, uh, uh, I was I was surprised you were struck struck yesterday. Oh. I was I shocked. Really was. I was yeah. I was shocked as well. I, I was I was no I no. Was, I, was, I was at the middle of something. I was doing a lot of things and I didn't want to actually. Have people, you know, by the time you when you um, send the test that um, one man is elogizing uh, Joe Ray and this thing, I said, ah, uh, what is going on? And I was so yeah, busy. Woman, so woman, you, woman became woman became your spokesperson. I couldn't just attack him, you know. So one I that, uh, one it, that, yeah, so so I was uh, trying to balance well, on what I was doing with um, you know, because I said, Oh, this is the I, I don't want to miss this thing, but you know, I was concentrating on what I was doing and I was trying to ask questions. So everything was just 
it, it, it's just um, yesterday was just too 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 rough for me. So well, I unfortunately, it wasn't, it wasn't a decent. Yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't a decent stream because the network messed up. But uh, yeah. I think I think uh, one man was about warming up when the man just went off air. So for lack of better expression, I, so. I, I, I think <laughs> it, I think he panicked when I said I was putting my boots on. One well, man, let's now. I have some, I have some grenade, I have some bullets though. I have some look, uh, look. The, the, the reason, the reason why I called, I was reading on. I, I think I was reading on. Uh, was it was it Punch or one of those Nigerian newspapers that uh, and I saw the headline here too? They're trying to compel the Kwaku so to step down for for Atiku. If that happens, the, the thing has changed. Yo. it means it means we're talking about real competition now, doesn't it? You know, if if Kwaku so steps down for Atiku. Well, I'll let be that though. It's Chief Gomez. Mm. Chief Gomez. Didn't yes, you talk about true. them playing a Tambua 2.0 on, on Tibu? Like, if you just do a Tambua thing, the same thing that happened during the PDP primaries, where. Yes. Yes. Last, last minute to draw. So, yes. Tinubu boost, boost is, 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 is going to be short to that. They're going to pull the wrong gun. Pull, pull the wrong gun. And, then, and, then uh, and then my brother just sent me uh, an article. I'm going to forward it to you, one man. Apparently, INEC is investigating Tinubu now to see. Whether it really does qualify to be a presidential candidate. Mm. Yeah, no, so I that. don't know. Uh, yeah. It's too late. Huh? It's not, it's not, will freeze not, over before they can remove yeah. that. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no, no. That's the only party candidates. They should not. That that will not they, 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 they can actually take him out, actually. They can, legally, they can take him out if they want to. Yeah. I, I don't see the only party going to election without the candidates. Yeah. I don't know. No, they, they, no, they, they have the number two now. That, that's, why, that's why when Ovier asked me whether. I can see Tinubu winning. It's Nigeria. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. This thing can change. It can change directions any minute from now. It could, it could change directions. So, so I think anyway. he's back in play, right? So, so I think he's back in play, full force now. Yeah, if if, if 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 it goes the way they're planning it, he's back in play. And if it if it takes a, a whole chunk of the northern space and gets one of our percent in some key states, right? Well, I did that all. Well, I did that. Or be my even add to the thing. What if be also joins and you know step down for his boss? <laughs> what, well, Babati? What are you yeah. talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm just, putting, I'm just putting that there now. I'm just putting that. That's not, there. that's not, that's not gonna happen. Really? But, but you heard yeah, what Chiwoda said yesterday. It, 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 it was, I was kind of surprised. I was kind of surprised when uh, Chiwoda said yesterday. No one is t talking about or be in Kano State. That surprised me. Roman, do you remember him saying that? Yeah, I I, I heard him say that that he was in Canada. Yeah. Anybody, yeah, I heard I heard him say yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, let me let you guys continue the show. I'm okay. consulting now, so I'll talk okay. to you guys later. Very soon. Okay. So, okay. so, so, so bye bye to them. So bye bye. Have a good morning. Bye. <laughs> so don't yeah, uh, yes, yeah, somebody is there. Uh, somebody is asking if we are going to talk about uh, who be exploited being of course. We we'll talk about it. I mean, if we don't talk about it, I don't think a uh, uh, man of prestige will ever forgive. Uh, forgive me if I know if I'm not talking about to be exploited. <laughs> that, 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 that that's right. Somebody, somebody, right somebody, somebody checks a uh, check a uh, man of police blood pressure. If if we, 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 if <laughs> no, 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 we talk good. No, no, they, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to the video. They had a moment, they had a moment yesterday. That's that's okay, that's a given. But uh, oh, was, was it massive? Was it massive? Was it a massive crowd? Or uh, it was loud. It I was mean, loud. because some somebody, somebody make uh, somebody say something uh, yesterday when I was doing uh, my issue at my own. Uh, as my engineer, by the way, engineer said. Uh, if it if PDP go in those states tomorrow, the same people will come out. If APC go there next week, the same people will come out. So, and I think uh, I, I see I acquire reason with that. How many of them even have PVC self? The people that even came to. Uh, you know, of course, that's why I say they are loud. That's I say they are the loud yeah. uh, house. I will say, not really. But that's that's what they represent. That's what they are. So I will, I won't talk down. I will give it to them. They had fun. They had the moments. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, do, you want to give us a, do you want to give us a flavor of the sort of crowd that are okay? Yes, yes, because, um, hey, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, a, a lot of the, those crowds, though, they're just uh, obese in town. If Obi was in my in in my city now, where I am, I wouldn't say that was an overwhelming crowd, but certainly a decent crowd, you know. One, one man, give them credit at least. Try to go, just try a bit. Try and give them credit, please. Yeah, but more more branch now. One yeah. man, just try, Mugba try Mugba. and you know, go, just yeah. encourage them, please. Well, you know, you know what I see, what I, what I, what I, what I see, go playing out here. Just when a little, uh, you know, comes out and uh, just destroy the guy. And then the obedience they show up for him beneath. So I, I'll give it to them because mm -hmm. what, uh, to, what uh, was his name? Uh, Soludo said was actually going around. It's going around the country, and as it goes, was it wrong? You, you know, um, was it wrong? O -O -O yes. Uh, no, I was just going to say. Do you, do you know that the the whatever it is? I'm not going to say the obedience space, but do you know that they sent gunmen to um. So Ludo's home, uh, because of that comment. Really? Yeah. yeah look, look wow. at your screen. It says, uh, "Breaking gunmen attack Soludo's hometown. Soldiers, uh, uh, hoodlums killed." Hoodlum killed. How do we so, know? How do we know it's hypobian? How do we know it's that? Uh, okay. Well, then what? What? What has? What has? Uh, um, Soludo done recently? No, 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 that would no, have no, they are unknown government. One man. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, look at that. That's crazy. See, see, so, so, you see what I'm saying? Now, it makes sense because that was really, it was going around because as it goes, as they enter no kind of Niger, that they interpret out with different languages. That's what and people know. That, 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 that happened when? That happened this morning or yesterday? When was that? Oh, oh, so oh, let, let, yeah, let, let me, let me have, a, this is breaking news. So November the 12th. Oh, so it's new. Okay, today. Okay. November the 12th. So that will be today. Yeah. Or yesterday coming into the, to, to, today. Wow. So they've turned oh, back. But, they, but again, so the the that, uh, in the early, let, let me just give you a paragraph. Government attacked uh, Osuafia community in Aguata local government area, where Governor, uh, Governor of Anambra State Professor Soludo hails from in the early hours of Saturday. So early this morning. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's it's, it's crazy. But the way my my people from Edo respond, that kind of a little a, a little loud to one man and Ovie. Let me respond to that. To that, that thing that was there was there instead of one way. Hello, guys. Huh? Can I interject? Yes. yes. Um, what one man just said now is not true. That was unknown government. It had nothing to do with obedience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the, what is no, wait, let me explain it. The, the <laughs> Soludo case has been addressed. When he made that comment, obedient went heavily on him. Uh, Soludo had to call Peter B. Yeah, if you guns. remember, Peter B. With guns. P Hello? They went heavily at him with guns. Not with guns, like cyber bully. 
So um, then I had to call P2B to call us to order, to call them to order. You can see uh, P2B tweeted early, late night. You understand? He made, you can check his uh, tweet last night. He, told, he was telling everybody to not to insult anyone, delegate anyone. It's just should based on campaign. That's the issue base. So he called them order. But you know, obedience under his tweet, uh, P2B tweet, they are still saying all sort of things that they will not insult until somebody come to insult you will definitely show them Pepe. So all those kind of things. So, so uh, Emmanuel, is it your submission that the day after that uh, it is a coincidence that the day after Soludo criticizes Peter B, our government go to shoot up his one home? man? Our, our no government have been happening in that space now. So why are we attributing this to them? So, so that's just a coincidence. <laughs> it could be. Why are we attributing this to them? So it, the word. It, it could be. It could be. Okay. But I mean, so I, let's get me, this for him. And he has actually apologized for the, the comments made. So no, I think no, the, they have moved on from that no, space. The damage, has been, the damage has been done. The aim has been achieved. So anything afterwards, no really matter. But I'll say again, I'll give it to the obedience in the in the uh, in, in Benin City. But as I said, they came out and they, they pretty much put, put a mixed reaction to whatever uh, uh, Soludo put out. So instead of the conversation to just stay on that way it gets to be, now it's getting praises based on what happened at the Yeah, um, uh, let me come to you. Since you're already, you know, on that space, uh, um, Emmanuel, you did Abuja now. Abuja is like three, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. three and a half hours, four hours drive, or if the road is smooth to Benin, what, what, what was the reaction? How are you saying? What did you say? I, I, I didn't get what you said. I mean, about what happened in Benin, how, how, as, how people did, what is the reaction so far? Since you are closer to the Well, um, I, I know many people have come to this platform to tell you people, even before that rally came up, that this is what is happening in Benin City and all stuff like that. Some people still argue that, and, um, the governor of that state also denied them, though he has explained why he denied them the venue, the stadium that they applied. I, I, I'm not given a reason now, but I think I was making uh, excuses for him. There is a reason. There is always a reason, whether I do intentional or intentional. Of course. So, so <laughs> they, 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 they always come out with their, you know, reason. You understand? They, they applied it, and um, uh, even. Oga called him, PW called him, he's coming to his state. So, but that was a night before that event. So, but he didn't mention that he's coming to campaign, he's coming to visit your state or something like that. But the obedient has already applied like uh, Wednesday night, but they, they did not approve it because there's some logistics that need to be put in place before. And that is the reason he gave. But the result is that the vein, the vein they got could not contain them. So, they spread across the, they spread all the road. They were on the road, you understand? So they were just standing because even the, the time the, the event happened was around six. So it was like in the in auditorium. But those 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 people stood under that sun seal, that six to, to that morning, to that, uh, uh, that time. They were just on the street, you understand? There was no place they they, they, they didn't set that that was there was one in uh, Aushi, then Bini and uh, the Arumi, something like that. They were just Rumi. everywhere. Rumi. Yeah, yes, Rumi. So they didn't they didn't gather them in because, one place. But because he also he also went to multiple places now. It was I think it was in Aushi. That's where he met uh, Suleiman. That's where uh, Bini met him. Then he met Oba of Bini and all stuff like that. So. The, the only thing is that, though I heard that the market women closed the markets, like in all of them, they closed the market and came out for him. It was a very rowdy stuff. It was, you was, if you watch the one they were in, in the, in the, in the auditorium, they said about, um, uh, how many thousand capacity. 
you can see that they are even jump like like they are pounding them like all those stuff. Yeah, it was well, it was well, it was well, actually it was actually well, heavy well, actually. Well, but Emmanuel, if if Bola Tunubu or uh, Atiku touch that for Bini, the same crowd now you go see, and at the same people, no be say <laughs> Bini no be uh, twenty million people. No, no that, that is that is in fact to me. I know the end point of the end point of this whole thing is uh, February, so that we know everything happened. Do you understand? Because this yeah. this whole candidates they have the followers irrespective of um place location candidates they do have the follower if funk was all go to a number of states you now you see a lot of followers do you understand so they have if obi go to kano today you see a lot of followers if he goes to bonus you see a lot of followers so all of them have their followers you get you so see... but the end point did you see the clip where you visited about Bini? Where was it? The palace? Yes, I saw it. Okay. What do you read to what, what that little shenanigan that took place when the the monarch, the Obai Ob Ob he thought? And when he asked Obi, I mean, he said, uh, uh, I mean, he said, uh, 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 I, I heard that uh, I heard that uh, some uh, officials brought paper of land, some document for land for you, and you said no, you rejected it. <laughs> That's what this is. I'm, I'm I'm trying to say it exactly how he said it, but it's close. It's close enough. That is the other speaking now. And of course, he respond. A big uh, stood up and you know do all the necessary. But top of it, everybody everybody say he said on that. He said, yes, it is true. And he also went further to say that uh, as uh, today, if anybody can come out anywhere than me or my wife or any of my relatives, collect, uh, say we, they will get house or we buy any house, collect house, do my time as governor, I will stop my campaign today. I mean, uh, okay. I don't understand. Okay. What was, what's well, that, what's that um, about? That conversation started when he was um, he was like uh, saying that he doesn't understand why people say that obedient is only on social media. That the, the way he started that conversation conversation that he has a he has a is he a son like a son of I don't know whether is he a cousin or something related twelve years that he was saying a lot of things about people. Be so he was asking the boy, do you know him? Say yes. That is our leader. Like the boy, that he was shocked to hear that kind of statement from the little boy of twelve years. He was not telling Obi that people think that your movement is just uh, on social media. But what happened today in Edo will send a message to them before that. This second message came. Well, Obi, this is not the first time people have been saying that thing. So they even published that. Um, no, no, I know. I'm, this is, I'm not hearing for the first I'm just saying like I don't why the Obba will be you know me I mean, as, I, as, as, he, as, he, as he, a kid can, you know, yeah, can I intervene you know, on that you know, no, I'll, I'm coming see, to you next okay. no, I have information about that okay. topic about why, yeah, okay. 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 why he asked that question okay. I will come to you you know when you come to this Obba of a thing kings you know, understand kings, they, are, they don't joke with land. You uh, get. Made... Okay, okay, okay. You understand? So, a land is an ascent to whoever have done well. So, a community can devote some plot of land or acres of land and to give this particular person because he has done well for us. So, we just use this to say thank you for doing this for us. You understand? And that is how. In Igbo land, the king used to do it. The king would like that, uh, that clan or something like that. They would just get one plot of land and give one, uh, one man, maybe a big man that have been doing a great job for his the community. And I say, okay, please, we don't have anything to give you, but to use this plot of land 
to just appreciate you. You can build anything you want to build it. That thing is very common to all these kings. And like, I don't know how it's come, whether it's common in, in Yoruba, like in Oba, all this Yoruba land, but no, it's no, very, it, very common. It, it makes sense the way you are saying. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very common in Igbo land because that is the only thing they can give a rich man. They can't give a rich man money or anything or child or stuff. So this is an ascent. They can say, okay, thank you for this. So when Oba, he might have heard of that um, news that he rejected that land. So he was just want to confirm from his own angle, is it actually true? How can you reject an ascent given to you by the state government for doing such a thing for your people? So why would you do that? So like he told them, like he just want to verify from his mouth to make sure that this is come from his mouth. So, okay. of course, That's people good. stood and told them, told him that it's true. It was actually given that land was given to him. If if you don't know how the story happened, it was a minister of uh, is it environment or something. No, no, no. That I, I, I know about the story. I just wanted to okay. I just so, find that. Uh, so he actually, he actually just, gave the land to. To, to a woman that have been retired, that nothing. So he gave that land to somebody else. So yeah, okay. that is. No, no, hold on, hold on there. Let me go to Prestige first. Prestige. Yeah, I wasn't going. I was going to intervene, but um, I, I don't know who was speaking earlier. Everything he said, you know, you know, makes you know it's correct. But the reason why this question is manifested is because um, the other asked will be, can you promise that you will remain clean if elected into power? So that's where everything started before they go to the land. That's yeah, but that, that's that, that's a cliche now. That's uh, I mean, it, of course, you expect him to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah say I was just that. saying that's where everything originated. You started, know, that was okay, the first okay. question. Then before okay. they start talking about land and everything, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I mean, so now you that uh, you you you've you've seen uh, uh, clips from here and other places you hear people talking about it. I mean, you can hear from uh, uh, Uka Emmanuel, who is in Abuja, just three, just four hours away from where the action uh, took place. Now, you seeing that, you as a very firm believer of the Ubi, Ubi, uh, Ubi, what he can do and whatnot. How do you feel? Are you encouraged? Um, what am I encouraged? Yeah, and did I you know, have... like? I mean. I will, do you, are you? Does it come to you as a surprise? I, what's, how do you feel when you start, mm -hmm. when you start seeing the reaction? At least for once, it's not crazy. Is it now? It's pure like yeah. Well, well Obi has remained the same. I mean, he has, he has never deviated from his position about you know about where he stands, corruption and other kinds. So it's not a surprise. That's the same message that has been preaching. No, I'm talking about the crowd that came out for him in Benin. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Talking about the crime. Well, I wasn't surprised. Remember yesterday, we, you know, we talked about it. You know, we was talking about sympathy and all that kind of things. I think what um Oshimolo did. I had the interview. He was giving a kind of story that the stadium was not ready, you know, logistic purpose or something like that, and they came there to apply for it. I think he said they did because that, the that's time. a basket. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Yeah, basket. So I think that's an excuse. Of course, it's for, in my own opinion, it's political, but. And what does that mean? Yeah, kind of, you know, make people come out more, you know, mobilize more people, even people who wasn't going to come out. That's why I say the sympathy vote. I mean, of course, this is not a voting time. So when all these governors do all this or something like that, I mean, what are you trying to gain? Because there's no political capital you try to suppress people from coming out. This is not suppressing. No, but, but, people. no, but the reason, the reason they give that is not suppressed. They actually, they didn't come out and deny that they did not give the, the notice uh, in time. That, that was a late notice. Hey, you can't just it's your yeah, fault. That's what but the guy is trying to say. Okay, let's and it's not debunking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying they, they didn't debunk it, but in my own opinion, it has some political. I mean, I mean, it, I, mean he, it, I think he it, used that as an excuse. I mean, that's what uh, I mean. Uh, I, right. yeah. remember my which was what uh, which was my uh, catchphrase on our policies, right? Right, right. I completely so agree I with that now, but. <laughs> Yeah, I completely agree with you, but I'm just saying he used that as an excuse because you know they could have found a way to allow them to use that. But does he, you know, does he does he deter people from coming out? No, he probably mobilize more people coming out. I mean, it's just support right now, so I don't really put much, much, much into this rally and everything. You know, I'm, I'm gonna put people who's gonna what the prestige, prestige. Yeah, 
your friend, mm-hmm. your friend Kulata is saying that uh, Peter will be the, the same thing to Labour Party in Anambra when he was a governor of Afghan. Okay, I'm not. I'm, that may be true, but I'm, I'm not going to say that. I agree that he didn't do it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah they are one and the same. So they know they are one and the same in this game. Oh, yeah, that's I said it yesterday. I mean, I mean, nobody said saying. I'm not going to say he didn't do it. So I mean, that's possible he did it. So they are playing politics. But what is the benefit? Okay. I mean, I don't think I don't think anybody benefit from. It's not going to deter people from not voting for anybody because you know you disallow them from. Oh yeah, what did Obi? What, what what did he do wrong? That's what no, 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 I don't know. No, is this uh, no, it, yeah, we are talking about uh, I think Prestige is actually uh, was talking about uh, uh, the excuse Ob- uh, uh, Obaseki gave for not making the stadium available to them. So, and uh, you know, he was saying that it's politics. Oh, politi- okay, that will be the that too. Okay, yes, yeah, well, no, then... I don't like go, I don't like go, yeah. like that now. What do you see anything different from what is happening to Obi now, especially what happened in Benin, to that of uh, what happened to Buhari Sebaba in 2004 2015 in the north? Because the, 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 the festival in the north about Sebaba is quite different from in the south, just like what we are seeing with the obedience now in the south, it's a little bit different from how the crowd is up there. That one and, and and this one then and the take it back movement of show with you four years ago. What what yeah the similarity or was what was different? No, uh, there's no similarity so uh, no similarity at all. Uh, why I say so that of uh, uh say baba say baba say baba was uh, uh, was there was a huge support for that uh, movement there and that movement uh, Say Baba was able to connect it with the uh, Southwest. So, but in the way. Yeah, but, in the, in... but, but what, uh, go go. one thing, all the followers of these people have one thing in common. They all believe that, genuinely believe that they, these people are the Messiah that is going to change their life around. Oh, genuinely. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That similarity is there. Yeah. We agree that with, it, with you, that all of them in the heart of their hand. In the heart of their heart, all the supporters of Buari then and that of those of Obi now, they believe that yes, this man can, yeah, that they can turn things around. Yeah, they have that conviction uh, in them that yes, if they are elected in as president, they will surely make a better change for that country. Yeah, that that one I will agree with you. But when we talk about uh, the uh, authenticity of the movement. Is that movement a nationwide movement uh, for Obi? Uh, no, it is not. It is a movement that, uh, you know, 95% of it, or let me say 90% of it, uh, uh, strongly supported by uh, the, the, the Southeast, particularly the youth of the Southeast. And uh, some of the youth from the South South, particularly a do youth. So, if you are talking about any other place other than Southeast that are strongly in support of Obi on the side of the youth, I would say the do youth. And the do youth, uh, you know, demonstrated that yesterday with uh, the way they turned out to welcome him in the do. So, uh, so what? That of uh, Tinubu movement politically, it will, I mean, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Buhari Say movement, Baba. Uh, Sai Baba movement politically was able to connect it with the uh, uh, Southwest, those political leaders. It was able to connect it with political leaders in Southwest and some in the South South as well. I mean, we saw, we saw, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Amechi then, Amechi yeah, then Amici. was uh, was was was. Amechi, I mean, you can. Yeah, yeah, in the south. Uh, so, 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 yeah. So, so he, he was able to connect it to. Uh, with, I mean, that movement. Was, uh, there's, I think Saraki too on no, and that uh, Saraki too on the other side. That was the that was the strong base. And that was the strong base that. Uh, um help him elected so but this one of obi 
is not being able to connect that movement with uh, political leaders across the country. Even in the Southeast, yeah. the political Angelica leaders Koka. are not are Angelica. not on his side. Angelica, Koka, let me ask something. Did yeah. um, did uh, did Buhari win any twenty? Did, did he win twenty five percent in any state in the South South? I don't know. Can you tell me? The guy oh, yes. Yeah. Which he, which year? Which, which year? I mean, I'm talking about the last the last the last election. The one the second time. Yeah. Yeah. The, the last one, one five. Five, 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 five states. In South yeah, South, it won five. It won twenty five percent in five states, and River oh, okay. State, okay. the River State that did not make twenty five percent, he made twenty three percent, so he almost made it. And in South oh, okay. East, he, ma he made it in three states in South East in in twenty nineteen. Oh, twenty five percent. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He made it the okay, entire South South apart from River yeah, State. It was massive. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not looking into that. Okay, thank you, Adeli. Uh, thank you, Kulata. Yeah. So as I was saying, so that. Um, so, oh, so Colata, he made it five percent, but he's stick on five percent. So, where did that one coming from? That was huh? 2015. That is called them five percent. But in 2019, and that 2015, he's still using it, it against it. I don't know about all that one, Joe. <laughs> I can't quantify that. That is not it's, measurable. His regime is over. You are still crying over it. Get over <laughs> it, my friend. I'm focused because next one will come. You go cut me out totally. The way these are going, so be focused. <laughs> Now wait, Kulata. Now that you are there, now that you are there, what, what do you think about the, the what happened in Benin? Hey, but Shebi, I told you that Obi did it to Victor Ume when Victor Ume was in Labour Party. Obi blocked him in Anambra now, and Victor Ume was com um, complaining in the video. The video went viral like two weeks or three weeks ago. That was showing when Victor Ume was complaining that Obi did not let them rally in Anambra. So I mean, what's that proverb? But, but are you surprised? Are you surprised with the outcome? No, the outcome? I'm not surprised. Why would I be surprised? Why will Obaseki allow Obi to just run over his own backyard when that's his own domain? And he no, knows I'm that Obi... Is that the right thing to do? Is that right? But, 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 but it is wrong, go. It's a public... It, uh, uh, it, it, it's uh, wrong, but now. it's the game. Yeah. It's part of the game. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's a bad game, game or they are playing bad game. But Obi no, oh, oh, they played the bad game oh, in the past. Obi oh, too has done it before now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I, that's I, I, I have a question. I have I a mean, what is wrong with all these uh, Nigeria uh, politicians? What are they I, trying I, to I, do? I, I mean, well, this is a public uh, uh, venue. That everybody should be able to use it, but uh, they will not let other people, see, other parties, to see, use the national stadium for campaign. This is why. This is why me, at this state of our nation, I am against state policy. I am against it. They go use them, finish everybody. We don't, we cannot control them. After this, since we cannot control them, we don't even know how much they are earning, what is called. We don't, we have zero idea of how they run our state government. State government. I won't go and give them. I um, agree with, with you. It has a Legitly. proper training. It has a proper training. Give them with, with harm and give them power. Yeah, it's it's a proper harm. training. <laughs> they will manage that. That will be a, the state police will be managed if there's a proper training. Retrain well, and if retrain you, and retrain. it's not about the police, it's about the person in charge. Can you hold him accountable? Can you control him? Do you know what how he will manage the money that is coming? Do you even know how much is coming in? You have no idea. Yeah. I want to be legally. If there's an attack, if for instance, if there's an attack in any state, they will hold the state government accountable for that place. So definitely, the no, state listen, have to be accountable to what is like happening. What is our relationship with the person in charge of us first? How equal is he? What? We are not equal when it comes to that relationship. They have too much power over us at this point. You won't go and give the able men with gun to control. Yeah, but that's a different policy now. Not because they are misbehaving. The, 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 the right thing. There must be state policy. What is, it? What is the right thing? That's the question we need to ask. If they, if they can be, if they can be justified, listen now. If they, if they can withdraw stadium where uh, potential president can talk to me and you, that's mm -hmm. the only time we have. We the only opportunity me and you have to actually come in contact with him. Once he become president, it's over. Right. One place is that one place. They know. I understand your concern, but maybe when well, they implement state police, maybe they need some form of independence away okay, from FBI. the governor. No, no, like, yes. okay. 
Baba T, in the U.S., does governor have control over state police, local state police? I don't know. Everything is local. Everything is local. No, no. Right. They, they, they Everything is local. Depend on the county. It's control by the county. Now we the governor. We now we no, 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 the for, So it's county have, by county, Abi. Yeah, in America. We have yeah. ER cases, like critical cases. It can take over for that time being. Guys, so regular, yeah. But okay, but I'm like give them. I, th I think they control. But we have, um, but we have, uh, we have the state trooper under the. Control yeah, they control the state, the state trooper. Yeah, it's the state. It's the state that control the state trooper. So yeah, but right. the state troopers, they are not so influential like you know all the cops. I mean, you know when you say cops, most of the time it's your county. Your local oh, county yeah, cops, yeah, then, yeah, 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 you know, state trooper are just on the highway, you know, uh, yeah. they, yeah. just on the they just on the on the interstate. highway, right. they don't arrest or whatever, you know, that kind of. So county should the county should be the one. State, state, state trooper like, will not even state trooper will not even uh, pull you over on you local go, local road or something like that. Uh, you know, once you, oh, once you, once you cross the county line, like, they won't follow you now. Different counties, they have boundaries, they have where, where they can go to, or you know, this place. So, but okay, please, who are you voting for now? Because you, because yeah, I, wait, I, wait, 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 don't, 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 yeah. don't take one my shit. <laughs> <laughs> violence, the violence, you carry hey, the man, yeah, uh, I am still upset let's, with the man now. I'm still upset with the kill. I'm still let's upset. Go. Kwa 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 has expired. That was last week. Let, uh, where, where are you now? Where, where, where <laughs> I, don't, are you? I don't even know where I'm <laughs> right now. Be, imagine. Just to, in fact, you guys, you guys, you guys, hey, hey, yeah, hold on now, hold on. <laughs> why would I be, why would Kokos only give an high blood pressure? Is that innocent, man? Is it innocent? But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's, oh, yeah, let's go on that topic. Let's all talk about Papa. Yes, I want to switch the topic. I want to switch the topic. But first, I want to say thank you to everybody that is joining us. I mean, the, the viewership is, is skyrocketing. Thank you very much. But hey, support the platform. Get us a coffee. We need like today, not Saturday. So support the platform. You know, go into the coffee, uh, click on the link, buy as many as you can. Trust me, as many as you can is allowed. So we can continue having a, a good Saturday. It's, now let's go to since uh, Kulata is so hitchy to talk about uh, the incoming president. Let's go there. Uh, incoming uh, president. <laughs> incoming <laughs> president. So let me let me go now. Let, let me go. I I will make sure everybody talk to this. So let me go back first. Confess. Uh, now first, con, I'll go. I'll go with uh, Ajani Goko. But Ajani Goko. What I will do, I want you to keep it short so I will be jumping all, all around like that with the question so that the, the engagement will, will go there high a little bit. Okay. So when I come to you with the point, just use the point, I'll go like that so that we just... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Of that, of there's, that will so be much, there's so much okay. I put in that so that will cover a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, break, breaking news before... That's good, that's uh, good. Before Monday. Yes, uh, on Society, let me let me read it before maybe maybe you be you give a different history. You see, um, some leaders in the northern part of Nigeria ahead of the 2023 presidential election are making move to present his consensus presidential candidates. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Al Haji PDP and people are back around the pure of the new Nigerian People's uh, Party, NNP to Rabi Konkoso, uh, are the two major candidates from the uh, in first coming election. So that spoke to the new telegraph disclosed that many leaders in the north are in support of particular presidential candidates. The source who spoke on condition of anonymity said the former vice president has been adopted as a consensus. Isn't this exactly what Konkoso accused the Ariwa that she and Nenega they put together? It's exactly what they accused, they accused them of that they've already concluded on somebody. Uh, according to the source, our people have resolved to adopt the consensus candidates for 2023, and the person they have picked is former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the consensus, the candidate of the PDP. The source, who is a member of the Northern Elder Forum disclosed that prominent leader in the north and mounting pressure on Kongoso to withdraw for, for article. The source said, I can tell you that our leaders in the north have commenced move to pressure Senator Kongoso to drop his presidential bill for article in the interest of our people. 
there are speculation that Konkuzo has remained adamant about the pressure to step down for Atiku. The former governor of Kanu State wants to go on with his presidential ambition. A source in the NNPP said, Madugu, that is the title, Konkuzo has been bombarded with calls and presentation from permanent leaders in the north to drop his bid for Waziri Atiku title. But the former Kanu governor has remained adamant. The source noted that Pompozo refusal to step down might be unconnected to the circumstances that led to exit from the VDP in the first place. The source added, it will be difficult for Madugu to, to that be difficult for Pompozo to support the PDP because of the way some people close to Al Haji Atiku treated him when he was there so much. A possibility is very remote. I think even if it drops its bid, the only person Madugo will bag is Atiku. Bola Sonibo. Okay, now, uh, uh, if you watch, uh, you know, Catch on Nanuju. Catch on Nanuju, now, former PDP guy, was working with, uh, he's very close to Peter Obi. Now, Peter Obi guy, so now he don't declare, he don't, now, uh, now, one of the first person to Peter Obi, the Labour Party now, he said that they actually sent him to Gumi Konkoso, sat with him for about three hours. When that then uh, talk between Labour Party and then they go on. But he felt now they are now to go meet the Ariwa uh forum to give them uh, somebody to run with the uh, OB. And they went there. Sorry, not not catch on only you talk around now. PDP governor. Uh, governor candidate of Kano State. That's what I began in the interview. He said they come go meet the Ariwa for, uh, uh, forum, and those people they decided to go with their own picking. They are the elite, but they, so that is there. <laughs> I know they did not. <laughs> the ideology will separate did not be that. You know, some people they they, they, they hate that part. Now really, now relationship G and I go the rule. No. We don't support you. We don't need to finish and go. The idea of you bringing your son, your relative, is you know, something that they really, really, you know, don't like. But it's coming gradually because it's happening in Adamawa. It's happening in, in uh, Kano. I think a lot of people actually are accusing Pompo to himself of giving the tickets to his uh, in-law, and that's why he lost the election of uh, 2019. So it's happening gradually. So that effect, though. Now, why I bring that perspective to it? Will it be forced to go for the L L Labour Party to come together, or you will, you will see this what they are saying now that is likely to happen? That the pressure, if it's real, that is going to succumb to it and get to Atiku, or it's going to say, you know what, this guy don't like me, people don't like me, I'm going with Atiku, or you are going with what I believe from the one, we are going all the way to Asura. Yeah, thank you, Ovie. Greetings to our listeners around the world. Please click on the like button, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Ovie, like I tell you, Con Castle will not step down for anybody. If he should do that now, he will thank just you, destroy. He will just destroy his political image and destroy his political future. He still have age. On his side, he's just 60 something years. Atiku is 78 or maybe 76. Yeah, he's 66. So, so, Pan was 66. 66. So, Kankaso can still contest the next election. Look, what Kankaso is doing, it might not be for today, but for tomorrow. Kankaso is establishing himself on the presidential race for the future. That is what a lot of people does not understand. I don't see him winning now, but he's building a structure now across the country in such a manner that if we cannot win now in the next four years, he will launch a very effective campaign that could make him relevant across the country and political juggernaut across the country. Once they see, I mean, another side of the country, in the South rather, when they see that a particular candidate in the North is a force to reckon with, political leaders in the South will try to 
align with that person. So that is what Camp Castle is doing. Do you know whatever what can happen to Eda Tinumbu Atiku before the election? We don't know. Those guys are not healthy. Anything can happen to them. I'm not praying for a bad thing to happen to them, but those guys are very fragile. You can see Atiku when he's walking, he'll be dragging his uh, foot, he will be walking so slowly as if uh, something, as if uh, maybe, uh, you know, it, it, it's not showing, it, they are not healthy, and Tinubu too. So if anything should happen to Atiku, the entire South, I mean, the entire North, that want to support a Northern candidate, will be in this array. And Kwakaso could be the better alternative by then, if anything should happen to Atiku now, Kwakaso will surely fit into that shoe and a lot of Northerners that really want to support a Northern candidate will see as an alternative to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we see him as an alternative and we give him their vote. So, Pankaso is not going to step down. And his action when they are doing what you call this uh, nonsense they are said they did in Kaduna where they invited all the uh, frontline, I mean, frontline uh, presidential candidate uh, to their Arewa. Um, for a gathering or town hall meeting, they said. Kwakwasho proved there that he will not give in to any pressure from any quarter. That this election, that he is in the race, I mean, this, um, um, I mean, that this um, presidential race is in it and is going all out to the end of it. Okay. So me... I don't see I don't see him backing down. He's not going to back down. If he should do that, that's the hand of him politically across the country. He will he will be seen as unreliable. The next time, if he should come up, people will say, "Oh, he's not reliable." Hey, he will step down for somebody along the line. So he's not going to do that. He, he's, and 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 uh, I'm telling you, this guy is doing his work on the ground across the country particularly in the North, is ready to tackle Atiku to the end. I mean, PDP to the end in the North. Some people are saying, oh, he doesn't have more than Kano and this thing. Until that time, you will know. You will know. All right. All right. The person that is going to suffer this, um, that's going to suffer uh, a serious setback um, um, in this race, um, uh, in regard to their traditional support or supporters across the country is Atiku. The traditional supporters in the north are breaking apart. The traditional supporters in the east are, 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 are breaking apart. The traditional supporters in the south-south, they are breaking apart. So he's the one that is suffering the heat most. And Caucasus will right. not stop. That's right. my point. Okay. But see. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Yes. On the most serious note. I think, the, now? I, I think on a more serious note, uh, Ovie, this is a big opportunity for your candidate. I think he has a chance now. Because if you notice, people in the North, they like Atiku, they respect Atiku, but they love your guy. He has the love of them at heart. It's, it's, it's a different level of respect. It's, it's, it's a, they, the love is there for him because they see him more as a core Northerner. It represents them more. Atiku is not seen in that same light. They like him, they respect him, but the love is not there. So they see Koko Koko as more of a northerner per se. So in terms of what uh, Ali Koko was talking about, you also have to pay attention to the to the G5. The G5 comes to play for your guy. People are thinking that they might go with uh, with uh, Tinubu, but I would say if your guy plays his cards right, he can actually get the G5 on his side. Because as, as PDP continues to disintegrate, it gives an opening for him. Because if truly, like you were talking about, he has, like, and, I, and I believe strongly, that he has the love of the North. If you couple that with what Mickey has to offer and the other G5 governors have to offer, 
he has a chance. So I think that, like, once again, uh, you know, I joke about your guy quitting because it's all speculation. We don't know yet. But that will only come uh, if the PDP disintegrates further. So to the point where it becomes clear that you know, article is not a viable option for the not. So if that if that becomes reality, I think that the G5 might move towards um, supporting Kokwaso for president. And it might actually have a chance. If it comes to Kokwaso against Tinubu, to be honest with you, I'm going to go with, go with Kokwaso. Because the not because like I said, he has the love of the people of the north with him, and that will, there was there's no way they're going to sacrifice their own son for Tinubu, no matter how Buari loves him. So if you add that with the G5, once again, pay attention to the G5. The PDP is falling apart gradually, so I think I think he has a chance uh, over here. Just be, me being serious now, all jokes aside. All right. Um, okay. Thank you. Let me go to the next one. Yeah, Kulata. Thank you for you know uh, buying the coffee, buying the coffee to support the platform. I want to hear different name, the regular name or the people that I'm used to on the platform or in the conversation. Folks at home, mm -hmm. you know, right to the occasion. And can you can you platform. can you skip cave? Can you skip cave? Can you skip him, please? <laughs> Why are you discriminating against me, Baba? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that that you pull K out K. What what's uh, what's your take on that briefly? Let me pass it around. Uh, oh, I mean, the, the, it, it's w w I mean, in my opinion, is what game does Kwakwansu want to play after this election? Meaning, which camp can he easily take his NNMP uh, and Kwakwansu as supporters too, and he can build a formidable structure? So, can he do that in APC or can he do that in PDP? That is what will decide the game Qua Quanso plays. There's a lot of speculation, obviously, that we, we that I have myself have said several times that he will eventually collapse to Tinubu. We saw some semblance of that in Zamfara. The entire NNMPP structure in Zamfara has collapsed to APC. But that doesn't mean every NNMPP will not collapse to APC. That's just one state. So when you think about it, if he favors uh, Tinubu, that means Tinubu will run. If hopefully, if it doesn't collapse there, he will have a shot. Kwakwaso may have a shot in four years' time. Now, shot where is he shot in PDP or shot in APC? Because if he goes to APC, if he goes to any party, he has a shot. Because if it's if it's time for the north, because if um Atiku goes, he don't actually PDP doesn't pay him because Atiku is going now. So in four years' time, PDP, with all the G5 non noise and all that stuff, in the next four years, after 2023, PDP has to field a Southern candidate. Forget about, I mean, since Atiko already cheated, cheated them. So Kwakwaso cannot pack his bag for a PDP run in four years' time. He has to pack his bag and do an APC run, or he, stays his, or he stays in his party, depending on how the results pan out for him in this election. And if he's not going to wait for the Lord to pan out in this election, it will sell to Tinubu because he stands a better chance to compete and beat Yetima in a primary. Because if you remember, Buari hardly beat him in 2015. He came second. And it was a close second in, in 2015. It was just because of the likes of Tinubu that Buari got the primary win in APC in, 20, in 2015. So is it that he stays as an NNMP? or he sells out to APC, and then he goes back into APC. And if he goes back into APC, whether Tinubu does it for four years or does it for eight years, he has he, he is the number one guy that will win the primary because it's come so close to it that, he, and he has a formidable following. He's a Fulani guy. He will always beat a, a, a Kanuri guy in the primary. So that's how I see it. I see he either stays in NNMP, or he sells out to Tinubu. And there's some signs that he's already selling out to Tinubu because of what happened in Zampara. That's that's my own take. All right. All right. I'll proceed. Yeah, um, thank you, Abier. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me begin, let me begin by saying this. Um about um about what's his name? Opi Vice President Dati. Um, from the information I gather. Because of it came late after um after he was shown by Pankwaso, 
So it was the northern elders, you know, that actually brought um, that to him. So that was how that came to be. He wasn't really in their, he wasn't really as a topic in their decision because it was very, very late. So that's how that came to be. He was appointed and give it to Obi because Obi didn't have any other option. So let me be clear about what I read on that. That's exactly how that came to be. So it wasn't like he was an initial candidate or whatever. So it was like a late refreshment. But I don't know how it's playing right now. So having said that, let me go to Juan Quaso. You know, we are talking about him right now. What he's gonna do, or who he's gonna lie with. Yeah, I read the same thing that he just, you know, portrayed here today about people in the North pressurizing him to join um the anointed candidate, which is, you know, they like um, I think they, they respect um Atiku. That's what that's the way I'm looking at it. But did they love him like they love um Juan Quaso? No, Juan Quaso had like a cult followers up in the north, but I don't know how many, but definitely, you know, in Kano, there's no doubt that he's like a code polar in the north and other places. So he has to play a game, a game of permutation. Probably his future ambition has to play a role. In my own opinion, if he decides to stay, he has a very good chance of running for the next president because any, most of the party like APC, let's assume APC win, you know, they're going to, um, the North is going to produce the next president. Look at what we have right now. You have Atiku. Who else? Pankoso is the, you know, probably the most prominent after Atiku. And this is going to be Atiku last year. So if I were him, I have to stay. Why would I want to collapse my structure to any particular party or whatever? Stay, you know, and, and actualize some of my vision, garner some vote, you know, make yourself well known for the next, you know, four years, eight years or whatever. It's going to be uh, the Northern, you know, time by no doubt. But it's a game to be played right now. I don't know how this is going to end. I mean, I mean, what's his name? Pan Paso has said something, you know, if you look at when he went to Enugu, he said something, you know, against APC. He said, never vote for APC. So I don't know if it's just politics. He said, never go. People are talking that he might line with Tunubu. I don't know. But he, what he said about APC in Enugu was very damning. You know, about how they have taken this country and people shouldn't go for him. So I don't know if just a political rhetoric. Is he going to um, collapse his structure with that? With, um, <clears throat> with Atiku. This Northern people, man, I mean, I don't know. People are saying that, you mean, because Atiku, you know, did something wrong to him. APC has done wrong to him too. So I don't really know where he's going to, you know, if he's eventually going to collapse his structure. But as of right now, he's been pressured. I mean, rare pressure to collapse his structure with Atiku. But according to what he said, I think one of his postmen said that, you know, that's not going to happen. That he's going to, you know, he's not collapsing his structure with anybody. But we see what happened. I don't, in my own opinion, um, I, I don't see him doing that. That's what I see. Even regardless of what happened in the other, in the other state, it's just a particular state. It's just because APC was very influential. What state was that? Was it, um, was it Zampara? Uh, Zampara. Zampara. Okay. Right, right. Because of, you know, the APC structure in that place. It's just a political, wherever you have a political capital, you have to align. I don't think that's, that has anything with, to do with Pan Paso, you know, it's just a, a particular state. So it's a game that's going to be played. I, I, I don't think it's going to collapse his structure. That, that's my own, you know, you know, how I see that. All right. So we see what happens in that space. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, fully. I know that you come before town. And yes. Hello? Yeah. Are you there? I'm here. This is not the usual fully. I know you have a regular fully. This is a new fully. First time on I the want, talk. I want to say... <laughs> I hope you are not here to scare me again. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's your first time on coming up on the screen, right? Yes, please. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Where where are you joining us from? Um calling from US. US, okay. You're welcome. So uh you've been following the trends so far up as you go over yes, the, I think. the question for you. No, I think uh you are talking about the Quancaso space. Correct. Yeah. What's your take on that? So, in my own opinion, I feel it's just a, a testament to the fact that this election is largely about ethnicity. You see, the South East is largely about B, no doubt. The Southwest is largely for Tinubu, no doubt. This comment also shows that ethnicity will play a big role 
and the north. Why is the other one not thinking of Obi? Why are they not thinking of Tinubu? So now it's about Omowani is our child. Let's let's see how we can do this thing. But however, uh, we conquer so collapse structure for Atiku or for Tinubu. I can't really tell because in politics, you never say never. Once the interests align, like Lada was saying that, okay, Kwakaso will not want to go to PD because of this North agenda, then PDP want to present the South. Anything can happen. 2027, PDP who debated from their constitution and presented a tickle. Can still say 27, we are still presenting another Northern person. It doesn't matter. Once the interests align, they know they have this number. Let us know that as the North has the number. So, if PDP sees that, okay, we are able to gain more state, now they have a show in court. And they can, they have or your they have or your they have or your if PDP tries or money to get and they have a do well yes. in the south. So if they get more states in in the south and they know they have the north, of course the north agenda is always there. 2027, it can still be the northern agenda. So for me, uh Ethnicity will play a role, no doubt. Whether Kwangaso would collapse his structure is also a function of who aligns with Kwangaso's interest. If the PDP aligns with his interest, you see, there's this uh, imaginary letter they say they write. It's okay, they ask you to sign an undertaking or give a, a statement that you will not do more than one time. Even though nobody has seen any letter in that regard, but there's always a saying that, so. Jonathan says he will do one time. Uh, Gentleman uh, agreement, they call it. Yes, Tinubu. Uh, articles is also saying now that oh, he will do one time. All this gentleman agreement. If they reach an agreement, this and they think they are, they are beginning to learn now that this gentleman agreement is not going to be by word of mouth again. Maybe we have something that we can write, but it will not be in the public. If they reach an agreement and it favors Kwangaso, it aligns with Kakazo's interest, it will go with PDP. If Tinubu the Madonna of Southwest politics reach an agreement that will favor Kwankwaso. Don't forget that Kwankwaso is has a progressive mind. So also is Tinobu. The Talakawas, they are progressive, they think progressively. Atiku removing the ethnicity on the side of uh, of the north. Atiku is more of, of a capitalist, so to say, which does not really align with the North. So if Kwankaso sees, he was once in APC, if he sees that, okay, this agreement goes, is going to go towards the North the next time, I think uh, APC's agenda will be better. If he aligns with his interests, I think he will go with it. But, for, so, but the, the long and short of my comment is that this time around, ethnicity and religion will play a vital role. That's my comment. All right. All right. Thank you, Foley. Uptown. Uptown, you did it. Uptown. You just unmute yourself, but nobody will hear you. All right. Let me move to this. Yeah, we. What's up? Why do you use bedroom voice? Here, answer me now. Both of them don't go eat apple. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, can you? Okay, after after you can you can take over. Okay, yeah. okay. don't go eat apple and no bonus. Leave that game alone. Yeah. Pay attention. Good boy. Now, you everybody seems to nobody seems to be you know. And are talking about it or seeing the possibility of Obi and Konko Sosi coming together. However, the ticket is going to look like, I don't know. 
are you seeing that happening still that everybody is uh, believing that uh, Konkoso is going to we're going to sell out. Look at this guy. Just leave that girl alone. Leave her. You did with us yesterday. I mean, give her five minutes. There's, let's leave go. her alone, Ovie. Okay. Go to another person. Where they're um, cold for America Ovie. now. Where they're cold. Where, where? Leave <laughs> her alone. Up that day, Koi. Up that day, Koi. We don't do America. Up that day, Koi. After, oh. yeah, after on a weekend for <laughs> Nigeria, they enjoy life. <laughs> okay, uh, see, yes, uh, yes. If you know the if, city will be coming into the conversation, no, be definitely it will be. Obi is gonna come into the conversation, but let me let me make an establishment first. I uh, mean, they have been talking for a while, and I know that. Um, no, 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 no. You don't have. You don't have a while. We did, we just if you see that we are we are on one question, we're just passing it around as fast as we can. Then there are more okay. topics to go around. Yeah, yeah okay. So what are the, I don't even know what the topic is. If uh yes, I'm I asking, think... we are talking about, this is the question. Uh Konkoso, the possibility of Konkoso collapsing the structure for either article or uh, uh Tinubu. But there's other people who are saying that they see the possibility of a phone call so and uh, will be coming together. But I'm okay. saying it ain't going to happen. The man is going all the way solo. So what's your take? The, what's your take? the fact is, the phone call so is not collapsing the structure for anybody. Why? Because I believe even if he doesn't win, he would love to know what his chances like maybe how many numbers he can pull do you get how many millions he can pull he would love to know that so he's definitely not collapsing his structure for tinibu article but i believe that what is going to happen because many people are thinking that it's going to collapse the structure for tinibu article which is wrong they have different ideology the 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 closest ideology that Kwonkoso has with has is Pitobi. That is the truth because they both basically managed um when they were like a governor, they basically did almost did the same stuff. No, 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 no. If you want to reduce Kwonkoso, uh, the opportunity oh, don't be come on. With, uh, no, they, they, they almost have the same ideology. ideology. I think it, it relies more with Tunu, but when it comes to ideology, they are both progressive mind, they're center left, you know, some people no, call they, it. Yes. I'm talking but about when they were not, not the like same, uh, uh, the same category. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm talking about when we when they were when they were in you know leading the yeah, but they're the not being made was uh, the governor was governor first. Yeah. Now, Tunubu and Konkos will be together from the beginning of their political career. When Tunubu was a senator, Konkos was in the House of Rep as their deputy speaker. You don't and understand where I'm, and... where I'm going to. I mean, when, no, no, when I'm months. talking about the achievements in Yes, they are not of the same governorship. level. They are not the same level at all. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint Okay, you're saying that Peter will be Passamabi. <laughs> uh, that will make you <laughs> okay. Uh, that's what you're oh saying. No yes, yes. Can I interject? <laughs> what is Obi's ideology? Obi Obi's ideology is now before Obi's ideology is based on education, which one was so No, that's not is. education. Is not an ideology like as an achievement. That's an, a political and economic ideology. What's Obi's ideology? Obi um, is a capitalist. He's a capitalist, I would he's say. In, he's, in, he's in the labor of yeah. God's sake. What are you talking no, about? No, he's a Why capitalist. Is yeah, what is the contradiction people are pointing out? That a capitalist... Yeah. Is same, 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 same as Atiku. Same as Atiku. No different. Yeah. Confused souls. <laughs> but I'm just saying, based on their achievement in, when they were in governors, governor, when they were governors, they are mostly uh, well, basically compared identical. Compared to Kumposo, they perform poorly. Can I <laughs> oh, yeah, forget your one question that let me talk? So they basically invested a lot in education, which they believed in. And you know, they believe in the people, they saved money for the for the state. So 
it was mostly basically identical even if it's you know not the same maybe one is higher than the other i don't know who is higher than the other but you know saving money is one of the agenda education they invested a lot you know they didn't they didn't basically put their family you know in the in the whatever position they basically has the same yes. kind of yes. i don't know how to yes. explain it but yes. they're kind yes. of the same people yes. Mr. Dez, what? I just want to agree that if you like, hey, hey, and I'll match the, I'll match the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying it in my own perspective. Or I'm, I'm saying it in my own, in my own view of it. So I think they can come along well. And if they sit down and talk to each other, like I said, he's not collapsing his, um, his structure for anybody. What I can see him doing is backing Obi after the runoff that is what i can see him doing because he believes okay. that ob is going to maybe perform better than any other person that's what i see him doing all right so ob, uh, OB will be in contest for runoff oh obviously that's i mean <laughs> ajali koko I, ajali koko there is no there is no um beating around the bush about it ob is definitely I'm going to be in the runoff. Um, you can Obi bet it if who? you want. Obi and who? Obi and who? Obi, yes. I'm thinking Obi yes. and let me, let, me, let me move. Let me move on to the next person. You know, argue. There, there's no argue here. Okay? <laughs> okay, Obi. Okay. I'm past Obi. Just take it like that. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, up down. Up down, up down. Obi, up I'm down. back. You're one of your hands. You can't be holding phone with one hand, then the other hand is doing the uh, solving algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Stay focused. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm, I'm in the south east down Kentalan, so of, of, of Nigeria, you know. Okay, up town, I'm coming to Nigeria <laughs> next two weeks, and I need to Peru with you. Be careful with that pop. I, I be careful <laughs> with that pop. I, I mean, a non government, sorry. Because we don't know government. I'll be leaving here tomorrow, but then, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I know government, I think they are on break for now. But, but on the most serious note, though, uh, up yeah. down, on the most serious yeah. note, yeah. For, the, for, the, like, for the past one, one week or two weeks that we'll be, that we'll be talking, right? You've been in, uh, 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 what is it? What's the, uh, what's the name? I went Love to buy... Matter. Bayasa, you're in Lagos, now you're in Abuja, you're in Lagos, you are in you are in Nat. I mean, all these things, you, you go by road or you fly? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so some I'm of them are by road. The, I'm, I'm not talking about the expense, I'm not, I'm not going to point out the safety, but you to be able to be moving around like that. I mean, mm. all these alarms that we are blowing is... Uh, I'm not saying people are not dying, you know, in all those extreme... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get, I get, I, 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 I get what you mean, yeah? But the thing is, yeah, most times I fly, you get. But okay. um, some other times, um, I, I know people that go around with security, actually. So yeah, usually uh, we go we go together. Okay, right mm. now the question of the day. Now uh, you know people like Kulata uh, have uh, you know mm. kind of leaning towards uh, that if there's going to be any any alignment, is going to be likely be uh, yeah. so with uh, at, uh, what's the name at uh, Tunubu based on their you know political ideology and. Mm. Uh, uh, oh, again, I think uh, well, uh, General Google is saying that uh, it's, it's pretty much on my own side that the man is not going to align with anybody who's going all the way. We have, uh, oh, again, have a contrary view. I think Babati, Babati is going towards our people based on religious and uh, tribal sentiment that is taking place. And I think uh, the guy that is left now fully kind of, you know, didn't see any the same thing too. Now, where are you? Are you saying will be if if no if they said let's say yes, it's already been established that the man is going to align with any of these guys. Who do you say like it possible? Or, uh, I mean, will be article or uh, the thing. Uh, so, sorry, Playtown. Just before you uh, 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 respond to that, I just wanted okay. to. Acknowledge, I'm not sure if you have done um, 
or VA. Yeah, uh, Kulata. Uh, Kulata, right? Kulata buying the coffee. So what yeah, I did. That. Uh, so thank you, Kulata. But what we are targeting for this session is a minimum of three people to, uh, to have actually done that. And uh, what would be ideal is if it's uh, three new names. So I think um, Kulata is not a new name to buy in the coffee. Uh, but uh, for, for this session, uh, we, 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 are, we are anticipating a minimum of three people to do that. So uh, Kulata has kicked it off. So anybody that's willing to join him, the link is in the comment section. So go there and go wild. Oh, Public yeah, announcement from Starbucks. Cash up. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know this, that coffee something for you. I do this Starbucks. All right, I'll put it on the screen for you to see. Okay. Now, I already did. Yes. I already did something for you. Oh, okay. I went, I went that was to some minutes ago. Oh. All right. I appreciate the support. Yes. Uh, after that, uh, come, guy, 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 come. No, no. Let me call uh, my guys. Who, uh, pull on here. Let me locate you. You gotta stay focused. Give me five, just two minutes. No, no. Okay, okay. Okay, now we are working on some data, so yeah, that needs some going around, that's why. But that's by the way. Um, yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Now, um, wherever you are, I just say uh, I don't want a okay. elaborate explanation on that. Just go to the point so that we everybody, yeah, can yeah, yeah. Let me greet my up. brothers now. I will still come back to you. Uh, I have to greet my brothers. First. No, I will yeah. come back to you with other topics for it. So, yeah, so good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. So, yeah, Konkos, uh, Konkos, so that's what you asked here. You know, he was in a bunny, at, uh, was it yesterday? Yes, um, back to the uh, He was in a bunny yesterday. And if you heard, if you heard the comments he made there, where he dismissed APC and PDP, uh, he actually says something like, Obi was his only obstacle that is remaining now. And he knows that him, Funko, so is Obi's only obstacle in the North. So he sees himself as someone that is holding down the North and seeing Obi as someone that is holding down the South. If you watch that interview, he granted in everyone. Uh, I agree with people that thinks he's not going to uh, collapse his structure. And I'll tell you why. Uh, like I said before, I think what Kwan Kwaso's mission in this election is, is to fill the Buhari space in the north. He wants to inherit the Buhari voters. He wants to be the next Buhari of the northern Nigeria. So he knows that he has to start filling that shoe now. He does not necessarily think he's going to be president in 2023 but he wants to feel that Buhari issue and that's what he's doing so that is exactly why he's not going to collapse his structure to into anybody's structure he's not going to collapse the structure to article structure he's not going to collapse the structure to to volatinable i don't think i don't think that is going to happen so i think he's going to run all the way and i think he, he also um he wants a bargaining power yeah and you cannot have a bargaining power in the next next election series if you do not prove the voters you have under your belt. So he needs to prove that he has 6 million voters, that he has five, he has three, he has 10, he has 15 or whatever it is that is gonna come out with in 2023. So that that's gonna be his bargaining, bargaining chip in the subsequent elections. So when he's coming on board, so that's what he's going to use to strike the deal when he comes on board next time as to say, I'm coming with these numbers of votes from the North what uh, uh that's my uh, what deal can i strike with you just like Buhari did so i think that's what he wants to do so he's not going to collapse the structure he's going to uh, right. go all the way and he's going to find out how many people that's going to vote for him in the north all right stay put i'll come back to you i don't forget the uh uka david <laughs> that's what you get for supporting Obi. emmanuel all right, so now this was my computer. Yeah, well, um, I'm here, don't worry. I'm actually writing some code, but I can swear talk. Oh, which code? Now, code, now, they get babe now. What? Okay, I think I code, now, they get babe now. I go write code on I don't, I don't, I don't even have time for babes. When you write JavaScript from morning to night, you don't even remember that it's a babe. Then I could I could real good thing we could go to win from the first balance. <laughs> Don't worry. We're bringing some. What is your code? What is your code telling you? 
What is your code huh? telling you about Konkoso? What is your code telling you about Konkoso? Is he going to prove it? He's going. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say you know where. <laughs> um, well, for me, like the last guy that spoke, Konkoso is not stepping down for anybody. Yeah, yes, he's okay. not, not stepping down for anybody. So that man wants to test his capacity. And he wants to feel that um, he wants to feel how it looked like to go to the ballot. So, but if it comes to that stage, well, he will be pressurized or some sort of bargain towards that. We know how Norton played the politics. We, we, we saw what happened between Wiki. Atiku and Tambua. So we all know that's how they play. They are, they are very, very smart when it comes to politics. So it's possible that he will step down for Atiku, irrespective of whatever you're saying or ideology or belief. That is not an politics. So it, it, it can happen before the night of the election. It can happen a week before the election, the gate, right? Because nobody will believe what Tambawadi to um to Wike. The Wike will till today Wike will never believe that that actually happened after giving your speech. It's Eleven naive. hours. <laughs> Eleven hours and um, it just you know, it just happened. So um I will not be surprised if um if um Pongkwasa stepped down for article a week before that election, because that's how they play their politics. And I will not be surprised for other, you know, trenches parties to also, you know, align and collapse their structure towards article. That is how they play their politics. And that is why they are better than us when it comes to politics. So forget whatever anybody is saying. That is not an way of politics. Let me let, let me put on a different question on the floor now. Let's uh, go around go around on it again. Yes, thank you, uh, Kulata. Thank you, uh, 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 Des. And uh, uh, let me get the name. I think it's Ayo. Yes, uh, Ayo for supporting the platform so far. I, I, I mean, is it me? I never hear woman name or girl name <laughs> in that. Uh, in that department. And I think I want to hold you guys who are hiding your faces away from the screen responsible. If we not show up on screen, the, the ladies will show up, the girls will show up. My face alone is Sorry, my face is away. Obvi. I... <laughs> Sorry, Obi. One man. I don't know where you are, but I think you're listening to me. You said I want to hack <laughs> I want to hack crypto with my code. <laughs> See what we're talking. <laughs> crypto is a is a to me. It looked like me, like a diminishing ascent. I don't know what is going on in the crypto world, but okay. I don't really know what's happening there. The, the whole thing is diminishing very uh, fast. Uh, they have they have filed for bankruptcy, so forget about that yes. when it's gone. Okay, they filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> so, so, uh, 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 who is they? Who is they that have filed for bankruptcy? <laughs> the owner of the company. <laughs> the the owner of the guy. Huh? The owner of the company. Yeah, you didn't bankruptcy. know that one man. Who is the day that filed for bankruptcy? The FC something, you know, filed for bankruptcy yesterday. Go read about it. I mean, your money is gone, man. <laughs> you, you this guy, man. You <laughs> just you don't do it. After half the time, you don't do anything they talk about. Crypto okay. well, well, doesn't well, belong to one person. I know. It, 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 the it, guy... It's like saying that the dollar or money has filed for bankruptcy because the dollar is in trouble. I'm telling you, go look. The guy, what's his name? Um, I'm forgetting his name. He, he don't run away and he's filing for bankruptcy. The young guy in charge of the whole stuff. I know it doesn't belong to anybody. The whole stuff? With... What young uh, guy is in charge of the... Do, it's a decentralized space. No, the, the, yeah, young the guy... It's, it's an, the it's guy a you are talking about, the guy you are talking about uh, is just an NFT collector. It's a crypto investor. Right. NFT collector. Yeah, so, oh, so, I'm not saying it belongs to anybody. Uh, Oh God, uh, man of prestige, man. You are a funny uh, guy. Okay, okay. Bad man. NFT, NFT will do well. 
than this. NFC will do well more than this. NFC will do well more than this. Crypto is depreciating a lot because a lot of people are tend me, to be moving away from that you want, crypto. You want me to show you, let me show you my NFT wallet. It is as strong as it ever was. I'm off. Yeah, 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 that's what I say. NF, NFT will appreciate better than even all this crypto stuff. Everything, will, let me tell you, let me tell you, because I was yeah, having this conversation with OVA about. just yesterday and uh, Black League. Uh, so, uh, uh, all this, um, uh, uh, what is going on is a buy opportunity, and the clever people will take that opportunity to go and buy. You know, so so forget all of this. Uh, okay, is, okay, one NFT? man, what is good one man. man. What is I, wish, NFT? I wish you good luck. Okay, if 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 you look at your screen now, these are these are my NFTs. Every single one of these items that you see is uh, has gone one X up. Every single one of them, one X up. I agree with I'm, you, one I'm, man. I'm, I'm double on this my is money an apple. on every single asset that you can see on your one screen man. now. Every yeah. has been falling. Calm down. I did this. Okay, one man. man. I wish you good luck. Okay. I'm in this space with you. Calm down. What, what, what do you, What do you own? What do you what own? Are you, what are you talking what about? If own? NFT is falling, crypto is yeah. falling. Everything is falling. It's what just do, the way it is now. Own? What do you? What, well, don't say it's you just are in the way it is now. What do you own? You have a bit of one man. I lost. One man, I lost this one and something thousand this year, crypto. So all this, all this thing, just, just falling. A lot of people tend yes, to move because, away from it. Because, from because, because uh, you know why you lost money? Because you you and uh, people like you and this, you buy on a hype. You buy on a hype. So you have to, if you are trading, you have to use the contrarian strategy. You have to go against where the market is headed. You have to use the contrarian strategy. So, so now, now, now that crypto. it's falling... Now that it's falling, is when to buy, not to sell. And then when, when it's... I mean, it's just... just okay, one man. One man. One man. One man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's January. At the end of February. Instead, instead, of, of, instead, of, uh, instead of writing codes to hack wallet, uh, Emmanuel. <laughs> one man. Uh, one man. Uh, one man. One man. One man. Listen to this. One man. Crypto giant. Don't worry. FTC one man. Investigation abnormality. The next Follow your back from the file. For... The next thing I'm going to release for you people, you will enjoy it. You understand? Technology is actually taking space, taking over. You get it, right? Where you did? So, where, where you did? We all know that. Now. Know I know so, sorry. <laughs> huh? so, sorry. Do, do you not actually know what NFTs are, Emmanuel? Me, NFT? Yes. Do I don't even know what... what... No, no let, let me explain mm -hmm. what the excitement is. Um... Mm -hmm. with nft it, it's an immutable form of it's a non-fungible token so when you say fungible it's something that cannot be, be repeated or replicated uh in in any form so that's fungibility so it's a non-fungible token and they've been able to code encryptions that uh that almost fail proofs non-fungibility so now, all those lands that you are buying, all those are uh, digital assets, even actual physical assets that you own. You know, the, the, the land deeds and everything, they are going to at some point mutate into non-fungibles where you can just transact uh, land buying in codings rather than uh, going to CFO or anything. So that's that technology space. So when you're talking about technology taking over, that because the the artworks and the gaming and all of these things that you're seeing as digital assets, those are the entry points and the and the face of that technology. But the te technology of non fungibility is oh man, it's just one aspect of it. Just one aspect of that. that it, it's just there's a lot you can do with that. All those yes, that's script, what all I'm saying. Stuff, you can you can use it to yeah. So that that's what I'm saying now. So so. All this idea that uh, you've lost your money is just, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not uh, that. That's just a, a lack of one understanding. One man, we are one man. We are dot has filed for bankruptcy. I'm not saying it has we're, we're, this is just a brand. Yes, that's a in, company now. That's a company. So what right, but it's gonna affect. Oh well, anyway, good luck. Okay? Binance, Binance is even filing for com, uh, for bankruptcy. Affect, what are you it, talking it, about? It will, it will, but who's filed for bankruptcy? Binance, I'm telling you right now. Yes, so Binance run. can file for bankruptcy. Nobody cares. 
uh, uh, but uh, that will have uh, no people will care because that will affect the market. But if, if you will, know, you know, both be, NFT and crypto, it will affect yes, all markets. But, but, but market. it is not going to is not going to crash or ruin that market. Is my greater point. And it, oh, man, you know, that you see the problem. Let me let me let me educate you. Money is going to leave this space, but I see oh, it. Let me educate you. I, I see Don't it as a buyer, but he wants to educate me. Oh, yeah, go on and educate <laughs> me. But yes, that your NFC, you have to monitor that space because there will be a stage when uh, when you know when new uh, NFT are coming out, the old one tend to depreciate. So you just have to monitor the space, how it's going, and that's the one thing that killed me with. Um, the crypto I bought last year. So when well, there was a buy? time, what did you buy? Almost... What did you buy? Me? Yes. What did you buy? I, I bought BTC. Yes. What? What's that? BTC. BTC. Bitcoin Cash. Yes. Uh, no, that's not a crypto. That's just a derivative. That's that's a. Uh, 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 look at this guy. He, he just he, bought Bitcoin. Yeah. You no, know, he didn't oh. buy Bitcoin. He bought Bitcoin Cash, which is one oh. of those. It's a bit like buying um Ethereum Light or something. One man, so leave that story. I lost my money. So I did not buy it. What, yeah, what because, are you saying? Because, because you did not understand. That's why I said one don't man. buy on the hype. You one man. No, it's hype. not a hype something. Let me tell you something, one man. We, yeah. We're in the space of... um I don't know what the name is, but the stock, both stock, crypto, and everything, there's, there's another kind of... Uh, I'll call it like the opposite of it. What happens in between like... For the next, for the you last thirty years, let me let me explain something to you. What are you? I don't know. I can't really remember the name, but I'll get it for you. Let me let me explain. Then what expertise are you? One man, can I can I tell you so that you don't make the mistake? You don't know what you're talking about. One man, I don't want to start entering the right now. Most about six billion is not going to affect the whole platform. No, and I I said it's going to affect the whole the platform. Yes, but what I'm saying is that. The smart money will see it as a buy opportunity because the the value of the uh, crypto space will drop quite sharply, and anybody that is in the crypto space will tell you that it 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 is continually experiencing huge spikes. You know, when I bought Bitcoin uh, in 2017, thereabouts, it was 700 pounds. You know, it's going to six thousand sixty thousand dollars. And then, and then it's falling to twenty thousand uh, 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 dollars. What am I up? When I when I first bought Ethereum, it was uh, it was buying it for for seven so what, seven pounds. How much is it now? It's about two thousand uh, dollars. It, it, it went as high as four thousand dollars. It crashed back to two thousand dollars. Am I up? I am up. So so you have yes, to understand sure. the market. Well, one man, the market now value. is. I mean, one man, I want to, I wanted to explain something million, to you. But it has, it, it has pretty much but, evaporated. I don't mean gone, but look at where. I want to explain right something to you. Can we it's come like, back to? It's no, like there's like there's like, to me, yes, there's, like a, there's like an opposite know, side of this market. Let me tell you something. There's an opposite side of this market. One man, the opposite side of this market is that. You buy like people that are investors. You buy like a, something like a crypto, which has like a sixty percent chance of you know yielding your money to you. And there's the op you buy the opposite side, which has the forty percent chance of giving you the dividends you want. And now, what happens for the last I would say fifty years, when crypto is rising, the opposite side is falling. This What's is this has been happening. Okay. That's what I'm trying to. Right. I, I don't. I can't explain the name, but if you want me to send you the link, I will. Now, no, when no, when the opposite no, side no, when the opposite no, side man, is if rising, you if you don't crypto know what stock is SP, falling. SP, that is SP, what is. Yes, yes. SP five hundred. Stop. Don't, don't you, you see? He doesn't even know. But but see, please explain to him. It, 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 it vice proportion to SP five hundred. Whenever when you have the market rising, it goes the other way. So because people are moving their money back and forth, they're not keeping their money in just the bonds only. So they are kind of moving the money around. So once you have the SP go up, it will go down. It goes the other way. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now, now all Babati, of them is falling you. down. Yes, it on. hasn't Babati. happened before. Well, so, sorry, Babati, just give let up. Let me ask Babati yes. something. Babati, so you know so Babati, are you saying this guy, you know, regarded as a wonder kid, you know, Ben, ben, ben Manfred, you know, that's kind of running away? Are you saying he doesn't know what he's doing? 
you know, they all know what they are doing. Say, he gambled, he lost, he put 95% no, of his investment, if his asset into that they, NFT, and he lost. They, they, don't, see, they, they always play on, on retail traders. People that come with that small money. The big boys know what they're going to do three, four months from now. They already know. You don't know. You just show up and look at what is happening. You, you, you. They look at the bigger picture when they are trading. But that's not good for we poor people now. Nah. Which one? Yeah, they? But, but already now. They don't care about you. You, you know, they're dying. You think they care? They care about you. They want your money. Now. They want your money. So they will put. Oh, you funny man. <laughs> it's like me trading now. Uh, and I put the stop loss or something. They know. Oh, they, know they know where you, where you put your stop loss. They will just read. But, but to, be, to be honest, that is a lot of money that one man is having though. That's a lot of money. It's America, man. People don't care about you. Went it. From, you went from being, you say you don't lose everything to that being a lot of money. My friend, who are you? No, no. I mean, because, I mean, because, because you want to kidnap one man. That, man. <laughs> because, <laughs> one man is coming. <laughs> he's coming to get you. Okay, okay. 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 If that appreciates, you understand. Let me tell you one thing, Emmanuel. If you, if uh, you only, if you, they, they are only ever going to be twenty five million, uh, bitcoins ever in the world, and um, we're getting to, uh, towards the end of the release of the minting of Bitcoin. So at some point, and Bitcoin, it's not only a cryptocurrency; it's also an asset. So, so uh, at some point, uh, and in in the in the, in the near to medium future. Bitcoin will hit the 1 million mark and above. And then you will get to the point that you will be using Bitcoin as collateral for actual real life loans. There's a, there's a, non, there's a non fungible token called a, a Bored Ape, Bored Ape Yacht Club. So this, this non fungible token, they were giving it away three years ago. Uh, but if you attempt to buy that uh, at least uh, about 12 months ago, You'll be parting with the better part of six hundred thousand dollars. Six from being given away three years ago. So pay attention to that. From being given away three years ago, you'll be parting with the better part of six hundred thousand dollars. So, so hold on. There, there was a guy that 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 I follow online uh, because you know people are actually loaning money against uh, non fungibles now. He used is non-fungible as collateral to get the remaining balance of the money that he used to buy his uh, mansion in california but uh, babati uh people have to understand that space uh, babati like if you look at the way it's going bitcoin is going to easily eat hundred thousand dollars in the next five years. Uh, very that's not that is not even hard to see if it, it's going to go up eventually it's not it's not as it's not as difficult it's not going anywhere anytime soon all babati, right you're not you're not sure about that <laughs> That, can, we come back, can, we, can we come back from space and let's, let's, let's stay on it? Let, let's move let's on. Let's stay on it for a minute. Let's, 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 let's remember, really remember, really remember, really remember, man of prestige, that you, you heard it here first. Though. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> let's come. Let's come back. We'll come back from space. Let's stay on it. The way we spend real money, nera, nera. Okay, we we'll spend real money. Now going to that space. Thank you for thank you, uh, Kulata Ayo and. Uh, to supporting the now now sponsor this crypto uh can we, can, crypto can we pay dialogue. can we pay in crypto via wow can you pay in crypto <laughs> I, well, can you for me, me no no left for me left for me i will say no because i need it but i will spend it out one, 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 one man, man is going to say yes yes one man will say yes i will say no for two of you is the one because you i know you're not going to do it and two, I don't like cash money in uh, Bonnie. Uh, no, anyway, we can pay you Nera. We we'll pay you Nera, do I prefer Nera, but give me Nera. Give me Nera. Now, the leading presidential, uh, the leading political parties have returned to the drawing board to re strategize on how to raise funds for the 2023 polling polls, especially the presidential election following the decision of the federal government to redesign the Nera. There are indications that stakeholders of the ruling or progressive party, APC, are working on a viable funding template for its 2023 electionary campaign. The main opposition pe people, Democratic Party and the Labour Party, are set to review the funding strategy as the plan redesign of Nigerian currency, the NERA, appeared to threaten traditional method of campaign funding. 
why are they saying uh, the leading uh, political parties, say PDP, PC, and Labour Party? Where is the where is the NPP? Oh, we 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 know we are not corrupt. We our our the followers donate money to to sponsor the movement. So our that's our. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's glaring to everyone now. So it's glaring. So is that that three party? Yeah, the main party for yeah. the election. Why do you always act as if you are the smartest one? Eh? 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 Must you see this? <laughs> we are not corrupt. We don't need that. We don't need that to, to, to put our campaign. Okay, we good. <laughs> anyway, with the policy, the old currency will become useless on January 31st, 2023. Exactly 25 days to the February 25th, 2023 presidential poll. The new notes will be in circulation from December 15, people with all sum of old money, 200, 500, 1,000 notes in cash, must lodge them in bank or before the 31st of January. The notes will be useless. There are fears that the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, will no longer print large quantity of cash, and a new cashless policy will be announced in January. I don't understand. I mean, it's a good thing if you want to go cashless. But what about my grandmama and my ex girlfriend, auntie, where they uh, put mokoro? How they would they use the? They don't spend money again. With this party inside affair that they may not have enough raw cash, which <laughs> to prosecute the election. Somebody, former governor of uh, Jigawa, said something about I think there's something yesterday about this. Uh, what, is, what what is going on now? If uh, rock cash no day, you know, to move around, especially the rural areas. I'm talking about party with structures. No be no be Labour Party. Labour Party. All of them they be in. The official your share money. This stress. But those parties that has uh, structures within the rural community, the river and areas, and all those farm farm them, and they go to mobilize if there's no raw cash. That's what the uh, the party officials are complaining. So that's why our name noted there because we, we don't have that problem. On jet action in APC, with the plan of the CBNs to change the NERA before the February and March elections, some strategy within the APC we are said to have suggested that. Whatever needed to be procured in NERA be done quickly. Now, now they provide the electoral materials, not the government. So what are they procuring? As a party in power, one would naturally think that we have access to the CBN to grant some concessions. But even if we have the opportunity, we are not going to abuse public trust. So even when? Hmm. Okay, I don't think they repent. There are things like vehicle, mobile phone, and other logistics that are needed for the election. These are these are things that some of us are recommending that we buy immediately. We don't need foreign exchange to procure most of these things, and yet we do not have to wait until that NERA is changed. Said a party source. <clears throat> Asked. How the party intends to raise funds for its activity, the source said, I am one of the advocates of having our member donate to the campaign. I mean, the Focusers are ahead of that. What, 10 years ago? We have over 40 million. 40 million. Why would they campaign? We get 40 million members. We don't have to campaign. Just say, make 20 million, see that for us. Make 20 million, go vote. Are you win? But, uh, Maybe in a, on paper, members, and we can ask them to donate 100 A's. That is it. Why are you saying it? If you actually believe you have 40 million members, that is not saying we can ask. No, just it should be going on by now. However, until we structure the party in a way that members take ownership of it, we cannot really leverage on our mass appeal. Uh, okay. Is this something I'm not saying here? So, however, until we structure the party in a way that members take ownership of it. So, okay, this is, okay, makes sense now. For me, I always believe that my people get get the political parties owned by individuals, a private business, 
set up by individual based on their interests or what they have in common. That's what political parties is about. That's why when when Wiki they cry, the Wiki, and people get out. When people get come back, you will be pushed aside. So, but now they are not thinking that the ordinary people should be the ownership of the party. <laughs> if Labour Party who who pride themselves as the common workers of Nigeria cannot do that, I don't know who can. I don't know if PDP can do that. Um, <clears throat> what we are doing is to ask the governor to donate. <laughs> the governors to donate. What money they have? Our own money. They have always been in charge of the party and they are going to drive the process in their various now this is exactly where chunk of the problem of our country is the fact that now the governors they sponsor this political party tell me how things go to change because if you don't fall in line you whether not going to get the tickets or you are not going to be so, so, uh, uh, supported or apparently they take you out because they have so much power. I mean, who pays the money? They say, I mean, I mean, this is this is ridiculous. So this is why I see this here. giving them men, able men with guns, is a bad idea at this point. It's a very bad idea at this point. A lot of things need to be put in place before we trade that part. Based on shit like this, the party itself is we not donate. It's here. government is anyway. We are already working on generating the funds, and we do not have a problem with that. He said, okay, PDP LP review funding strategy. Okay, let's that's the APC now. Let's see what PDP and LP <clears throat> are doing with for the main opposition party, PDP and Labour Party. I take offense to that, Vanguard, but let's go on. Saturday, Vanguard gathered that the two parties are separately looking up to their strategy, strategy teams to work out modalities of for aggressive for aggressive okay this the, 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 the strategy team to, what am i saying the strategy team to work at modality for aggressive funding raising which must be in compliance with existing electoral law a pdp chief team familiar with the development said our situation in the pdp is made a pity more complex because five of our governors who contributions are Badly needed at times like this are pulled back. See, 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 see what is all this government is our money, do our security votes, our infrastructure money, whatever they they should you know use to develop our various community. Guess what? They had it to do what to sponsor themselves back to power. And somebody will come and tell me that if I come in, I will jail everybody. How? We are in opposition, apart from members due, which apart from membership due, which comes in trickle. <laughs> Most of our members do not have the financial muscle to make the kind of substantial donation the ruling party already have. That's a shame. As a party who has been in charge of the Nigerian resources for 16 years, you could not do enough to empower your member who are the citizens of Nigeria to be at least economically buoyant enough to contribute ordinary to your party. That's a shame on you. Why should we return you back to power if you have failed for 16 years? That's PDP. However, we look to big business who identify with us. We identify with our friendly policy to step in because it is going to be a win-win situation for Nigeria and those doing business in Nigeria. That's exactly what I've been saying. Where, why are the likes of Dangote, the likes of uh, Adenuga, the likes of where are all these freaking billionaires? Why are they so quiet? This is exactly why they are quiet. They intend to donate these billions of naira to this politician. Guess what? In return, they have to write the policy that will be favorable to their business, not necessarily to every Nigerian, to their business. But that's exactly what they are saying. In most, in most cases, especially in America, these companies, these special interests, write the policy themselves and just give it to the politician. Yes, it does. That's exactly what is going on. And that's what these people are telling you. The business class, not me and you, talking about these billionaires who have the financial power to come to their aid. That's how they work. It's a big party, but me and you are not invited. We are not in it. It's, 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 it's purely for the rich.
Uh, today, we have airlines cutting the numbers of flights into our country. Businesses are shutting down faster than they have ever been registered. This never happened under the PDP and the business community knows this. You're right. Uh, Ovie, do you even know what, what is shocking to me? You know, you know that, that, new, that new airport with them, that, that terminal, you know, it, 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 yeah. it, it, it does not even receive 747. It's only for smaller uh, for more for smaller jet and smaller air flight for rich people. The one with them build. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you build a terminal of fifty b uh, how many billions and it's only for because I'm like how do you design a, a, a terminal that cannot get bigger planes? I have never had that in my life before. It's only for small jet and private people now. I don't get. It's it. funny because PDP are actually accusing APC of that. Isn't that the, uh, everything? doesn't have to be in cash okay but all political parties need money because running election anywhere in the world is expensive okay why do you have to deal with cash paid electronically that's what they are saying that's what the government is saying if you want to give money to anybody that young but where they get up so that's money how did they pay up never mind oh shit. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> like the Edo state governor of God, you know, Basaki said, the timing of this Nera redesign is political. Okay, shut up. Yeah, your position party, why you no know, complain? The ruling political party was actually celebrating this move anyway. The ruling party is targeting opposition party in order to give undue advantage to the APC candidates who has who has stashed cash and I've been using bowling van to, to move some in the public. All right. So if 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 this is the case, right, they don't start cash, then those cash are going to be useless. So you should applaud. Oh, the president of the IPC. I'm confused. What is going on? <laughs> okay. I think it's a good thing. I'm beginning to like worry. Um we are not to be this we are we are not we will not be discouraged because we are fighting for a better Nigeria. I will believe Nigeria are receiving our message, which is to review, to rescue Nigeria from this decade. Hallelujah, somebody. All right, let me just, uh, let me jump to the Labour Party. On his part, <laughs> the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Commander Bayomi Aribambi, explained that the Labour Party feels blessed with the unprecedented level of acceptance the party and the candidate Mr. Obi enjoy among Nigeria. Hallelujah, somebody. I just hope you ask for money because if Nigerians are supporting you, they need your money to go cast that vote because it costs nothing. He said, for the first time in our nation history, we have a party and a presidential candidate that has grown to become a mass movement. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Like our national chairman has said on the numbers of occasions, ours is not party of money, but we are a mass movement. I love this. That man must be a pastor. I like these people. I just hope they don't go ask money the way they are going. Nigeria believes in our message to take our country back from those who stuck in trade have been to loot the country treasury in order to use the same stolen fund to try to buy over the people during election cycle. Oh, that's the truth. That's the fact. You're right. You're right. You're right. But how are you different? How are you different? Just a minute. How are you different from the area? Okay. This time around, we are leading the charge to say no to this criminal enterprise. I love the video. The government will be so interesting. What we are asking for is partnership with Nigerians to break this cycle, and the response has been tremendous. Okay, okay. The obedient movement march nationwide has been carried out with touch from the coffers of our great party. Huh? So where did she gonna come from? From Nigeria, the same Nigeria that APC has said they don't have enough money to contribute to their cover or they are different Nigeria, huh? But again, obedience. Let me give you that one idea. Why you not know the same much at this point? Make I begin produce shares and every other thing to begin make money, and I will not donate that money to you guys. 
as an idea, because that's how it is being done. Mokuna begins to say, we don't get a low period to sell merchandise for politicians, but you should figure it out, it's Christmas. It's an opportunity because people will buy. People, I know people are already doing on their own, they're making money for pocket, but the movement as an organization, if you guys are solid on ground, this is an um, avenue for you guys to make millions, if not billions of naira. Anyway, maybe that means you like money. When we appeal for public support for our campaign, for, for our campaign, it is not <laughs> it is to enable the party to provide logistics, especially during this campaign period, which will be more intense. There is a lot of ground to cover. You guys are saying the same thing that the same thing PDP and they basically thought they need this money for logistics and every other reason. So after all the you say Nigerians are with you guys. I don't need any logistic help to go to poll to vote. If you guys believe what you guys are saying, unless you guys are just, uh, you know, playing the role of a pastor here. By this, we mean we need to pay for the campaign venue accommodated, accommodated in some cases, at Victoria's in print and electronic media arrangements for security at venues, foiling of vehicles, medical emergencies, and early miscellaneous expenses. All these, as far as I'm concerned, can be avoided. You don't need to go around go rolling the street as if uh, anything. There's a better way to, to reach out to these people. If you actually you are in the movement and you know I'm on this movement, eh? collect their contact in one accord and just message. I mean, that's how the Democrat and Republican do it. We are we are we are a party committed to enthroning a government that does things different for a better Nigeria. We don't see the plan to redesign the NERA as it as a threat because we do not have illicit funds stashed away. Okay. It was gathered that both parties are not ruling our ruling our plans to hold fundraising events such as dinner, volunteer donation from party members and supporters to complement funds already received from the system. But that's so PDP they do and that year now. When they go gather themselves for one room for Abuja, they go begin to throw away 500 million. This one will stand up and say, I donate 100 million. That's how it used to be done. But these days they just go direct to discover some of our money and just speak in and nothing. So the redesign of Nera is like is bringing them back to that process whereby they will have to gather their friends and support us to make donations. Anyway, I think I don't talk too much. Um, <laughs> so I, I guess the question is, uh, where do I go? Where do I start from? Uh, Ajali Gogo, you're always the first person, but so <clears throat> Ajali Gogo. All right. Uh, go to somebody says uh, I'm busy right now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Who did it? Who's ready to go? I'm here. All right, good boys. Go, on, let's go there. <laughs> now, the question is going to be very straight over and short. How much or are you ready to donate? Am I ready to donate to yes? To support your candidate because at this point that's what they are doing they're asking for money they are strategizing how to raise funds from their members yeah they don't have um, to away as a labor party now do not get money we not keep a warehouse obviously we don't know good so are you are you are you ready to go hard yeah i mean uh i'm ready this is nigeria this is our country and I think you should be ready too, and everybody should be ready. All right, I think just, everybody's uh, ready. Just pause a little bit. Let me hear from uh, Mr. Alexandra, who is ready to dodge out uh, MC is account for for Bola Yeah, you are no, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> you know, go. My, the man is one of the richest men in Nigeria. Why would I want to empty my hundred dollar account for him? <laughs> They, they are actually complaining bitterly. They say, say that again? I said they are complaining bitterly. I mean, APC. Why? Why are they complaining? They don't have enough money? Well, I, I guess the money they stash away, now that the, the game has changed overnight, the problem does that. They have to start for yeah, money. He'll, he'll, he'll find a way. He'll, he'll, 
he'll find a way to to fund the party so long as he knows he can get his money back, uh, which a lot of people are, are um, have reservations about because they think he's going there to enrich himself. I I I take a, a a totally different view. I think he he wants to he wants to use his experience to turn the country around, but a lot of people think that he wants to use it to enrich himself. So the two schools of thought so thought over there. So I don't know. Uh, he'll he'll they'll, they'll he'll find it. He he has the money. There's a way we can do it. There's a way they can do it rather than the APC. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Going to Quark myself, uh, I th I don't think I. I, like uh, the common consensus here, I don't think Kumokoso is willing to to uh, demolish his uh, his party to support anybody. But then, if he want, if he's gonna do that, which is highly unlikely, I think he will go more for Tinubu than he would uh, uh, Atiku. But uh, this uh, this northerners, like I said a long time ago, when it comes, and you always say it all the time because you know that space very well. The farthest I've got into Nigeria is Abuja. I've never gone past Abuja. So, so hello. Yeah. So is that, is that coming from your side? No, I think. No, 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 no. I mean, it's yeah. not coming from that. That sounds like a bunch of Africans talking there. It's not from me. <laughs> yeah. So I do. Yeah. So, so, uh, so I, I, I. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to have a financial problem, and I don't think Kwakwaso, uh would fold up his uh, party. But if there's an outside chance that it would, it would be Tinumbu. And if for any reason at all it does that, then it just confirms my my uh, um, prediction that uh, Tinumbu is going to win. And not just win, win by a landslide. Um, you know, this man knows how to... Uh, I was just the expression master. He doesn't know how to how to play politics in Nigeria. And you, all you need to do is go listen to what um, Femi Fanikade brought up a, a, a clip of uh, of uh, uh, Mamadou talking about Bola Tinumbu being <laughs> the most astute uh, politician we yeah. have in Nigeria today. Yeah. yeah. And I totally and absolutely that. agree with every single word he said. Uh, Tinumbu knows how to play this game very well. He's doing the right thing at the right time. He's picking early, picking uh, at the right time. Mr. Rezan, to be a presidential candidate, you Yeah, that's it. You just play that. Yeah. To be a presidential candidate, you must have been doing the work for 30 years. It's not an overnight thing. You must build bridges. People must know you. You must know them. One on one. And this is what Ashwadu has done. I can tell you for free that if he gets the ticket of his party, and I've always maintained that, if he gets the ticket of APC, it will be difficult for anybody to stop him. It will be very difficult because he has been able to. So those who are building the attack, I told them, go and build your own candidates. People should learn how to be democratic. The meaning of democracy is that everybody has a chance. They will say he's old, he's young, he's uh, sick, he's this. It means nothing. There was nothing they didn't throw at Donald Trump in America. He became American president. So it's up to the people who don't want him to make sure that they find a better alternative. And that will be in PDP anyway. Because if he gets the ticket of APC, and don't forget that APC is currently in power, when he combines the humongous power of incumbency with his own personal Charisma is, is going to be unstoppable. How 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 prophetic! How prophetic! Um, he said it to the T. That's exactly what's going to happen, in my opinion. Uh, the, the, you see, I, I think I think that, I, 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 and I begin to repeat myself like a repeat myself like a broken record. If one on one without OB dividing the article space, I really don't think. That uh, Tinubu can beat Atiku. I really don't think so, because it will essentially be the voters from the north supporting the uh, sun and the voters from south supporting so from the southwest, uh, uh, south. And because uh, Atiku is uh, very, very popular in the south, 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 
and somewhat in the southeast. I think that would be a landslide. But or be or be going away from uh, from uh, from uh, Atiku does destroy his political career just like that. Every for every for every single uh, vote that goes to Obi is a decline of Atiku's space. So I I I I, I mean I. Yeah, I can understand the love that Nigerians have for for Obi because we haven't in my lifetime, and I'm old enough to say I've seen most of the politicians since and after independence. This is this is a man that's totally different. Obi is totally different. He comes with a diff, totally different disposition. I'm not saying he's not corrupt because corruption is in our DNA. So I'm not saying that he's not corrupt. But I'm saying that based on on his his disposition, his natural disposition, his uh, unassuming nature, his uh, accessibility, empathy. We don't have those kind of people in Nigeria. We we're just not those kind of people. We're not our brother's keeper. It was like that when my I guess when my mother and father were growing up back in the day. It's not like that anymore. So this man is loved because people see that trait in him. Is that enough to win a political election in Nigeria, where the big wigs are uh, in in uh, in uh, 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 in the northern part of Nigeria, telling us what they want us to do and what they don't want us to do? I don't think so. I don't think it's enough to win the elections. But I can understand why he's so popular, and I can understand why people have so much love for him. I I have a lot of respect for him. He 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 he's he's uh. His uh, disposition makes me or want to make me a better person. That's the gospel truth. Uh, you don't have, you don't come across Nigerians with that kind of status. A billionaire that has the the unassuming disposition of Obi, but he's not a pushover. Don't don't don't. don't he's not a pushover. He's an Igbo man. Can't be a pushover. No one born of an Igbo woman is a pushover. They, if you know the Igbo space, like I know the Igbo space. You know that no. I think sometimes he pl he plays his personality down so that when he gets into power, uh, uh, he'll be he he catch some people totally unaware. Uh, but uh, I I I I I can understand the love for the man, and I can understand why Benin came out in 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 droves yesterday to 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 support him. I can understand the love he's getting all over Nigeria. But uh, as it stands today, and anything can change, but I highly doubt it, I think Tinumbu would be the president of Nigeria. So that's my take on that. Thank you, Mr. Alexandra. Yeah, OK, yeah. thank you. Can I, push, can I push back a little bit? To... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because yes. you're Desmond. You always do that. You're very good at doing that. So go ahead. So I mean, at this point, you say his disposition. Well, yes. Yeah? yes, sir. Oh. If he, okay, uh, push back. Is 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 this position or not? But when you look at it, can let's be honest with ourselves. Can we have a southeast politician that will not have to almost kind of like show that is not a threat in Nigeria? It's almost like if you're an African American or black in corporate mm -hmm. America, you have to kind of like downplay part of your character. You cannot be aggressive. Like a, like Obama did, right? Yeah, you, like Obama did. Because yeah. if, <laughs> OB, if OB comes out like all guns blazing, then they will use the Igbo card against him. So it's yes. almost like it, it, it has to do that by default. So, yes. yeah, because... Yes. I, so on, a, on, a, on another platform that, I, that when I'm bored, I watch a lot, and a lot of people know me, because of my contribution, but one man wouldn't want me to talk about that platform for obvious reasons on his platform. Uh, you can see that some people from the southeast are trying to turn that into a Biafra, um, Biafra uh, 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 thing box, uh, and uh, the the people over there are pushing back because if you're pushing this Biafra thing on OB and you're saying OB is not talking about uh, uh, um, Imnam Dekan he would lose the election because like you rightly said, we can't afford to see a person who probably 
would be the president of Nigeria pushing the Biafra uh, agenda. So yes, I totally agree with you, uh, Kulata. I totally agree with you. But what I'm saying, though, from my personal perspective, is that his disposition, his 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 person, makes you makes him relatable to the average Nigerian. You know, they're used to having, like one man would say, the Babangidas, the 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 larger than life figures that we've had in Nigeria over the last 60 years. This man doesn't have that kind of trait. You see him as a very simple person. He wears simple clothes. He wears inexpensive things. Uh, that's the that's the that's his own. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for now? Well, that's the word. He, the that's, he, that's his own brand. That's the it, way he's not the first himself. politician to play to use that brand. MKO who, who, success. Who, who else? MKO. I don't know anyone. Remind me. I, I remember in 1993, MKO used that brand. MKO was the bridge billionaire that was very relatable and very. Uh, I mean, you feel you could relate to him. It wasn't the, proud. The, 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 the MKO was an exceptional Nigerian. One of the one of the uh, one of the figures I would call the the very epitome, the very essence of of the Nigerian state. He was detribalized. He did a lot of things. He went out of his way. He was just a beloved person by his very nature. I, I, you can't, I don't think of bees in that category. And I don't think, with due respect, that you can compare the brands uh, per that simple nature disposition. Yeah, but I, I think I can understand you to a certain degree. What has what has Obi done outside? Outside, uh, Obi is not a Rochas. Rochas a Karacha is the person that has spent, as an evil person, spent millions of millions of dollars sending children to universities in America. And uh, that's, and I can uh, prove, that and I can, Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me okay, finish okay. this. And I and and I have I, I can prove that because I know people who went to schools in America, by, uh, uh, sponsored by o Okorocha Foundation. <coughs> so it's not an Okorocha. Um, uh, Ob is not, but there's something really, really magnetic about. It. It, it's almost it, like. It's almost like an Obama without the intellectual capacity of an Obama. Do you know what I'm empathy. saying, Okulata? Yeah, he's it, 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 yeah. the only leader that is solely relying on empathetic leadership style. Like, he's accessible. That's kind of leadership. Like, he can relate to what everybody is feeling. Yes. Because we have yes. all these, I mean, Nigeria is a big life man. figures. Yes. Larger, exactly. We we have this. Yeah. We worship people. I mean, I'm yes. sorry to say, but yes. we do worship our leaders. And it's the one yes. that's showing that I understand how you feel. I yes. want to be able to relate to you. So it's that empathy. But I think MPO had that empathy too, because I can. I'm old enough to remember MKO being that person that you could find anywhere in the country and give people cash. You see him in line. He gives. Yeah, but because but, 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 but before he became a politician, he was like that. Yes. Yes. It was like that. He, he, that's just who uh, MKO was. He had he had uh, 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 organizations in the east and the north that he sponsored. I, I, I've said story before on this platform where I met a very big personality in America who came to America because of MKO of MKO Abiola's sponsorship. I said, you know, he was just that kind of person. Uh, this man is almost like that. Without that, that um, philanthropic thing about, you, do you know what I'm trying to say? So, yes, I but, know. I, but the, the point I'm trying to make, the wider point, uh, uh, part, uh, if if uh, if uh, one man would allow me to use one of his favorite expressions, the wider point is that you know people can relate to him, and in in my lifetime, and I've seen them come and go. We haven't had someone with that kind of disposition, so that's why people are. A uh, 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 trooping towards him, but that's not enough to win an election. That's what I'm saying, as essentially. It's not enough. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah. I think our default mode is what wins election: godlike men, because everybody has this miracle mentality. So they they worship people. So yes, and and that's why you can skip debates, and it doesn't matter. Yes, exactly, exactly. But but who? Uh, so uh, can I go over here? Over here, you don't the smoky boy again. No. 
I think okay. PlayStation wanted to ask a question. Okay, uh, go, ahead. Town, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to re- no, I wanted to respond to something Alexander raised here. So there is um there's a publication by this northern journalist. You got what I'm saying? So, sometime around two weeks ago, where he said Faro Faro Gate. Is it? I can't even remember the name on top of off my head now. But the, no, 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 it's not. It's not, no, it's not. Faro, Faro, okay, yeah. okay, probably he's, he's the one. So he said he went to investigate about, you know, Obi. Uh, there's this thing going around that Obi does this yearly. He has been doing this since 2014 when he left office. That every year he tours all schools, almost 50% of schools around Nigeria, both in the south and in the north. He donates a million naira to all of them. For, for laptops and computers and whatever it is. And he does it, in, uh, he doesn't like uh, see it in public. And like he has built classroom blocks and he's building schools in the north. He has built schools in the north. So the guy said he actually went to investigate that and he came out and found out that actually will be no. built schools in the north. Mm, that's good. Did that's someone say something? Yeah. No, sorry, I, uh, let me show, sorry. Okay, okay. So this man has actually built schools in the north and he's not seeing it. He he since for the 2014 now is uh eight years, right? Eight to nine years. Every single mm-hmm. year, he goes to a minimum of 50 schools to 60 schools. I don't know how their number, but across Nigeria and donates millions to them. He's, like he said he, he is his is his yearly corporate um corporate uh, responsibility that he gave himself every year mm-hmm. to focus on education schools across nigeria has been doing that but is that very but is that verifiable though that's uh it's even tax deductible anyway it's not tax deductible yeah that one too. you know what yeah is it not tax deductible corporate responsibility hello i'm, I'm here you i can hear, hear you hey are you and yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's tax deductible now. Corporate responsibility. It, it, it is. Well, it's charity. Can, can you hear me? Of the interest to talk to. Yeah, we can Hello? hear you now. Yeah. Okay. So, right. um, apart from um, so that's that. Uh, yeah, that was verified by the by the journalist. He's an investigative journalist, and he said, mm-hmm. and uh, so Obi is a low, very low profile until uh, Mbaka's uh, until Mbaka's um, ac- um accusation of stinginess came out. And people started bringing out receipts. This guy has been giving a hundred millions to schools and what have you in private. Mm-hmm. And until the flood issue happened, nobody knew that he gave out two hundred thousand dollars to Haiti mm-hmm. after spending two weeks with his son there and helping to rescue victims as a way. No, I, I, I let me let me really cut into. I, I you can't. This is what I'm saying about this position. Uh, you can't help but like the guy. You can't help yeah. but appreciate the guy. But having said that, all those qualities are not enough to win so on in a presidential election in, in a, in a I, mafia I, state I, like that. Also, all those, all those qualities are not unique or peculiar to be. Uh, the average Nigerian rich person is a philanthropist. Do you know how much the article has donated? Do, do you know that Kwakwanso? As somebody came here to tell us that even in Malaysia, when he used to send students to on um, scholarships, he will escort them personally to the schools. So that's the story. Yeah, one man, one man on the on the Kwan space. I agree with you. I think Kwan Kwanso and Obi has the same dispositions. And well, there's a difference Artiku, between. Do you know how many schools Atiku has built? One man, let, one, one man, let, let, the let, university. Let, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I think you're just saying philanthropist. You got what I'm saying, but I'm only yeah, addressing. So that's what I'm saying that's the story of all of them. That's the story of no, all of them. No, um, one man. Uh, see the point I'm making with the disposition. Um, Mr. Alexander is saying here. Yeah? There's a difference between this man called his son back from UK and they traveled to Haiti to spend two weeks there, and he offered his own personal help, assisting. Apart from donating, so there's a difference between donating as a big man, hey, give them the money, let them do what they want. But he is there. On himself, he spent yeah, two but weeks. He, 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 also, no, he did, that for leverage, he, did that, he did that for political leverage. When he goes to all these flood places, and then he starts in the middle of a flood with his um with his uh, well, uh Wellington boots, 
and then uh, holds a spade and then poses for photos. It, those are just political. It's a political. It's a political stunt. No, 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 no. One man. If you know Obi, Obi has a consistent, so Obi, a a consistent a record. Even before he became stunt. governor in Anambra State, even as a corporate world leader, as someone in the corporate world, he was doing it. He's been very consistent. Play, and play the I want yeah, to say about Elumelu El El does the same thing. Dangote does. Yeah, 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 of course, El 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 is cool. Yeah, it's not unique or peculiar to there to to Obi. There's nothing that stands to be apart in that space, is what I'm saying to no. you. And he taking no, okay. the uh, uh, no, no, one man. If you, if you, if you, if you, when I came in, no, one man, no, when I came in, I wanted to address something Alexander raised. Alexander said that he is like a boy, it's not like a philanthropist. So I, I probably he didn't know that he's also a philanthropist. So I just wanted yeah, to. He's not that. a philanthropist to the level of his wealth, he's not a generous man to the level of his wealth. It, it's it's not very true, to well, well, I don't think yeah, any of us are in position to know I know the level of his Sorry, I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. Another thing that should be mentioned about Obi is that he has a borehole in his house, and people in the borehole come to fetch free water in his house too. Um, he has a borehole in his house, and people in the neighborhood will come to fetch free, free water in his house. Yeah, but so, Ajale Koko, maybe um, build Ajale Ajale Koko, uh, this build guy lives in the community rather than the yeah. no, no, no. There's a difference. He has a borehole in his house. No people other... come to fetch free water. He give it up free water. Uh, 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 one man. People uh, in the neighborhood. Wait, let me say this. We... We know when Nes Kashankari caught a fire in Abuja and everything. So all the employees there, all the employees, they were all paid until Nes Kashankari got back to feet. They were uh, as in, uh, uh, they were at home and he that? was how, how do you know and that? nobody. I I I have someone that worked there. They pay all of them to Nes Kashankari got back. All of them. Even All right, so, um, um, my, my, my guy, I beg, let, and, let me and, just and, and nobody will publish that. So and, I'll go back to what I'm doing. Sorry, just nobody will publish that. that. All right, so, um, so Mr. Alexander, oh, yeah, I, I wanted to tell you about that, and as well, I agree with you on the there's something you pointed out, and I've, I've been pointing it out as someone that knows him personally. This guy likes downplaying himself, it's one of his marketing strategies. He has been using it, I think he used it in the corporate world, he used it to enter politics. He loves to downplay himself. He wants you to feel that you are going to win. Oh, that situation. So he likes that method of downplaying um, to be ahead of you. Thomas. So I think you, when you raised it, it hit me because it's something I know. So that's why. Sorry, Apologies, Ovie, but uh, I think Mama. Babati Babati had a graphic up. Don't hit you with the uh, uh, internet. Uh, okay. What's that? Uh, Yo, where where would they sell? With the money, how they raise money? Yes, uh -huh. well, uh, Abati was just about to. He, he had a graphic up just now that he wanted to talk us through, but I'm not quite sure if he's still uh, doing that, uh, Babati. Babati, oh, all right. I think he's changed his mind. Okay, sorry, Ovi. Back to you. Uh, I'm here, Ovi. Yes. Why? Why are you coming late? Uh, you know, say we day midnight, yeah, but something just tickled me to, to sign in. <laughs> so you in trouble, you can't find. Uh, no be trouble, no be trouble, no nah, small trouble. Yeah. Uh, let How me just say to... this. Yeah. How much you want I, to I know. I got a coco. My mom even have borehole in their house in Ibadan. They give people free water. That is that is total nonsense to me. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound. <laughs> Everybody give water in their community, but uh, what I want to say is, uh, Ovie. Ah, uh, what are we, you saying? What are you saying? Why can't you say that is nonsense? No, no, the no. Fact that Sorry. Because your your because your, your family um have the same in your house. I don't know, you should understand what I mean. That is uh, that is normal. That's what I mean. I don't mean to say nonsense. It's not yeah, normal. Bro, it's uh, not everybody. It's think, not uh, every. Uh, a lot of people. It. A lot of people that, that, uh, have borehole to, uh, to to uh, to sell water and make uh, money. Uh, yes, I understand. Thomas, what I'm just saying is, 
We'll buy, we'll buy water I'm, in Nigeria. I okay, hey, understand me. I'm not we'll, trying to we'll damn play. Let me finish now. 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 Let me let let yeah. let uh, Thomas just have the we, we, you can't <laughs> you can't sure uh, sure sure he if, can't if wants an opinion about Obi let him own it you don't we we get this too often that anybody that says anything quickly ten voices come to counter that is his opinion let him express it sure yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yes Thomas. yeah so yeah so what I'm saying is um giving people water is is peculiar to every human being that is normal so. It's not peculiar to be. That's what I just want you to know. For we forget <laughs> about that one. Um, oh, no. mm. let, let me finish it now. Uh, you know, everybody know my opinion. Yeah, I will hold it very strongly. Then uh, back to uh, um, philanthropics. I think um, somebody people have not really celebrated and honored is Okorocha. There is no Igbo man living now that I give respect than Okorocha. I have weakness how it takes people out from poverty and educate them to university level. What are you and about are... that money where still from Let USA. me talk in now. What are you, you just not listening? Just listen. You don't have you don't have the highland of every wisdom. Let people talk. Carry on, Thomas. Yeah. So it, this this man, nobody has celebrated him. I don't care what he has stolen. Even before he became a governor, he has been doing this. I witness it in or your state. Free school, free bag, free lunch. Free house, free everything. I witness it in your state, and people can testify to this. There is no one, there is no Igbo man living that I give respect to like Okorocha, because he knows the importance of education. He knows it. He's been doing it for years, for decades. So I give that man. Kudos. If Okuru child wants to become president today, I will be the first person to line behind him. I'm saying this if people don't know. So I just want you to go and research about Okuru child, what he has done in education, sec educa education sector in that Nigeria. In the north, in the west, in every looks and cranny of that country. So this, I don't, I think people don't really um, recognize that man. I give him kudos. I respect him for who he is and what he has done in education sector. I can't give Obi respect more than Okorocha. I give Okorocha more respect than Obi, than any Igbo man living. Because I don't know what they are doing. They could be doing it on that ground, but this one, I know. I witness it. I know people that are wretched, that can't even send their school, their, their kids to school. Two, three, four, five. This man cater for them to university level. Send them abroad. So let's just give credence to who, I don't care how much he has stolen, but I know he's taking people out of poverty, educating people. That is what just brought me to this channel this morning. Thank you, my people. God bless. Thomas is right though. Thomas is because I, I how much I, you don't give you now? The way you no, present. No, no, V. Seriously, even for me in O six, I work with uh, a partner. My group partnered with his. Uh, Let me tell you, if Okorosha wants to contest, contest anything in this in this uh, any election in Nigeria, as far as Igbos are concerned, southeast, he will get zero votes. But why though? I, I, don't do why he get zero votes? Vote. I don't get that though because the guy is actually more Nigerian than that, that people being. Oh, oh, Okorocha, this is a controversial statement, but Okorocha has been the best governor Imo State has ever seen. Take it to the bank. 
I mean, the guy, the guy speaks out. Like, no, hey, allow me emo people hear you, my brother. But why are you not picking the view of him? I, I kind of, kind of, I, I don't get it, but you know, I guess it is. But I, I, I have seen his, his charity work in 06. The, the guy is a giver, to be honest with you, especially when it comes to education and uh, small scale business back in the days, man. Every week, I'm like, why is he getting all this? That was before even right for help for anything in, in, in government. Though. That was Babati. You do know what annoys me. Yeah. They said the big go to Haiti. Nigeria is I, I don't so I, sometimes I just say just what is wrong? What is Thomas? Thomas Thomas as a bit uh, sometimes people just think maybe I hate this guy. What Okorota has done in right. education, Obi has not done one percent. Forgetting government one percent as a private my guy, you think so because Thomas, 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 a, a, Thomas, a, a, you can't a, compare a, what Obi a, has a, done to a, his people. Individually, Richard as a person, foundation that is why. So, they oh, are that is life. I'm I'm talking every looks and cranny. Are you guys I'm talking people? that is his people? Okorota don't treat people as maybe you are Hebrews. I'm saying in Yoruba and land, that is what, that's what I'm telling you. That if Okorota wants to contest today, Southeast will not give him zero votes. You know, oh, that is your own assertion, that the is your own belief. Integrity. South Easterners do not respect him. See, if you want to know a man truly, go to his people and ask. It's not about it's not it's not, it's not the picture he's painting for you outside. Go to his people and ask respect. about him and then know the level of respect you give. You guys want PO you guys want PUP purity test be. You want to want the PR only person. Everybody has their own flaws for God's sake. Guys, come on. Come on. The guy I knew that guy before he even ran for governorship. As the as a private citizen, I knew what he was doing. Uh, in, in, in look at in, in primary education and health, that guy did a lot for people. Forget politics, just as a person only, as a private citizen, he did a lot. So I don't get you guys now looking for some purity test because you want to. Oh, come on, man, come on. I, I don't get you guys sometimes, but let's not make it try about today. Just, just, just something that just you know, be rude. The guy is just a looter, just a thief. So you can't shine that's supporting. You can't shine that guy's shoes, to be honest with you. Your guy cannot shine that. You can't shine his shoes when it comes to charity and donation. No way. Forget government. Oh, government. Oh. Forget government. Uka, Uka, who is not a looter amongst them? Who, who is not a I don't looter? Get, I don't get this purity test that they're always looking for. The purest person that, that doesn't do anything before. Everybody steals. Even your guys. If, if, if you want me to tell you who is not a looter, it's, in fact, I want to tell everybody here that OB is one in a million in the Southeast as a leader. One in a million. It's still, it's still all hope of them, Mark. You see, oh my, we we'll know all of them. We'll pack them in one place. So if that's if if we are from party, want to contest, we'll be we'll accept it before we we'll support yeah. you. It's not who you want. Who can win? It's politics for God's sake. Ah, my guy, let me tell you. Eh, if we don't have Obi and Soludo in Southeast, Southeast Southeast will vote for Yoruba and I will support forever. Trust me, and I will support it. Any other person in that Southeast that is coming out, I will be the first person to vote against him. The in that is on the today, they will go for articles. They will go for articles. Some people coming up, some better people coming up. But the, those establishments, they are all looters. Very useless people. All it's, all it's, of them. it's unfortunate that you guys don't kind of like recognize some talent. Okorocha is a talent. It's a so sad. It's a talent. Okorocha is someone that will be acceptable across the entire country. Even if you are supported. Igbos don't worship those kind of things. It's not worship. It's not worship. He has some skills. What did he do in Imo? He they did a lot in Imo. Nobody has done up to him in Imo. Name one governor that has done up to Okorocha in Imo. In he terms did of not in Imo. Nobody he has done up to Okorocha. 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 His people do not see him at all. Go ask any more person. No, no, tell me an Imo if you, governor if you that is better than Okorocha be now. Tell me one person in Imo that governed Imo in the Fourth Republic that's better than Okorocha. Name the person. Okorocha that almost Name the person. Don't tell me the story about Okorocha. Just name a Grimo state governor that's better than Okorocha. Do that. Wait, wait, I'm coming. Okorocha that no, almost... No, no, don't see, I don't, I don't name that let, let, let me not tell you. Let me, let, let me tell you this out of... Let me tell you because I know this. Do you know who's the mother that people are insulting now? He's a far better governor than Okorocha. I can take, you can take that to the bank. Are you, yes. are you kidding me? See, people are insulting Ozodimma, but I know why I'm telling you this. 
Also, the man has more integrity than Okorosha. I can tell you this because Forget I know. Forget integrity. I know what Donald Trump, 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 Trump doesn't have I, integrity, yes, bro, but I know deliver. what was happening in the state of Don't tell me a better emo state governor. Under Okorosha's watch. I know what was happening in Oweri. Name a better emo state governor now. Can you name one emo state governor that was better than Okorosha? Yes, Wait, in Okorosha that turned Oweri to Sodom and Gorom. Then make I know talk. Guy, if you go to Oweri under Okorosha, I still not can get that anything guy tangible. That guy the government house to guy, guy, to to to, to kill us. Hey, he hey, wanted hey, to convert hey, the whole over to his private property. Hey, he was even to settle. Hey, hey, you know I mean, so, wait, wait, wait. I go. You, you need to you need to go to Uweri and do it. It's just like it's just like telling us to go and support hope for them, man. Go and support hope for It's just like telling us to go and support hope for them, man. That is other kind of oh oh my all these people that. Nobody that citizens don't see okay. anything in part okay. about them. Okay. They, they're just um, is even better. They're at least he's doing white elephant okay. projects. He's even better. At least some white elephant projects. You know, you know what's funny, guys? Give them three years, they will turn against Ludo. That, that they will do. They will just give them three years again. They will, that guy will be even very soon. Why do you guys always do that? Nobody. So why didn't they turn against to be my guy? I mean, he didn't. He didn't govern the state too. I mean. Ibos don't Ibos don't tolerate yeah, nonsense. Wait, no. For Ibos, you have to be consistent. When Obi was in office, if you mess up, Ibos will turn now, against Obi went out to go and beg Obi. Obi had to go and beg Ojuku to get Sam in the second term. Obi's that. rating when he was in office. If you read what was going on actively, people were saying, "I don't see what this guy is doing." That Oka was a, uh, was a shit show. Many people went against. Yeah. It's just because nah, he was nah, able nah, to reinvent himself. That is the lie. That is not lie. Even this show, you want me to bring links. Even okay, this let, me, let me just start bringing it. If, if you guys want to push me there, there, I'll go there. If you yes. want to go there, I'll go there. I'll just start bringing it. links from what was happening in that time period. With Obi. He Come said on, that he's going let's to the report Obi in history. Let's Obi. not try and spin history here. It was just because Obi was able to reinvent his image. That's why we have all this. It wasn't a better governor like that when he was in there. What did he do besides I mean, doing, the, I mean, doing that hospital, the cancer elsewhere, uh, copy Tinubu plan of uh, taking school back to to private hands and was the first person to do it under articles tutelage of removing that first governor that was useless uh, 800 kilometers of road what else is there i mean let's be honest with ourselves what else is there it's just because he reinvented my, my, my guy team my guy 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 team that they felt they felt him is not in, it's not it's not it's not small oh, oh, piano did it you need to, you need to compare it to other governors did a thousand. nobody's praising Obiano. Obiano did more than him nobody's praising him you think we don't know about Anambra State? Obi Isn't it just Obi Obi did both. Sorry, my guy. He did a thousand kilometers of road. Obi did eight hundred. Obi Anand did a thousand. It it. It Anambra, it. Anambra, and we can yeah, go and yeah, verify yeah, it yeah. now. Obi Anand will be like better it when it comes to road construction. Let's I'll bring the link. Let's, guys, let's stop this purity, purity test. Ah, uh, this purity let's nonsense. Okocha will be a good candidate. The man has his flaws, but you can question his heart for primary health and education. That one, I can, I can even testify to that one. That one is open on TV. Everybody has video. It's not like the, the people are just saying here, say. You see that mm. one. So don't, don't come with all this, uh, it must be. Everybody has their own flaws. And it's more. It, it was more appealing to Nigerians back then than even Obi, Obi was now. I think people love him more. He's more Nigerian than Obi will ever be. Find a winner. It's, it's, it's one of those people that you love. Find a winner. People don't love Tinubu, but they will vote for him because he can win. Yeah. That's the good thing. Even the that was Africa champion, is it because yeah, I, he moved? Man. Uh, do you think we have short memories? I don't get you guys sometimes. I don't. I don't know why you always do that. But hey, that's your choice. Kolata. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 Kolata. Sir. Kulata, uh, if you look on your screen now, you will see. Um, the uh, uh Peter Obi's campaign posters for um uh, for his re-election um whatever you was back in Obi Ojuku. I mean, do you think we forget all that? You can, you can see that's that's it right there. Another fair yes. So so using Obu, then I can there's, there were countless images of him using Ojuku. His first time was total disappointment. Total disappointment. His first time. So, so, it's the so second time it, that they tried to do something, and you think we can't mistake, remember? So. But why why do they always do this? What I don't get. Where you know where you're heading to is not going to work out for you. But you 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 stick there for so-called principle, which which is not going to work for you in the long Kolata, term. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm that, telling Kolata that yeah. people will not impact people of Anambra. So Ludo will not use his name to campaign. Look, if you successfully spin your image and it works as a as a politician, you ride on that coattails. That's not rocket science. You spin yourself, you, you sound successful, 
and someone else uses your coattail to get in. It's politics. I mean, do you yeah, think because, all these people are... Without this, without this revolution, we can, I have a number that, 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 that there's a lot of job opportunity, there's a lot of criminality reduced. As in, watch that interview, watch that debate. He put this on number that will you be reduced. Campaign, uh, you campaign in poetry percent. and you govern in prose. When he's now in the office that's governing in prose, isn't he now giving you uh, big chunks He's of the part reality. of the citizen of Anambra, he thought it too. He was, uh, he was Anambra, Kulata, he thought it too. Uh, so please, one sec. Uh, Kolata, please, I beg you. I know you You are a reader, please. And you normally uh, fast check people. Just go and fast check Okorocha, what he has done in education, even before he became a governor. In any state, don't so I'm, a, what, I'm, what, I'm aware of Okorocha, no, 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 um, Thomas. No, no, I'm aware no, of him. No, 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 Okorocha's no, only saying no, is because he moved to APC. That's Okorocha's saying. He moved to APC and he was no, able no, to successfully no, win no, an no, election no, under no, APC. No, That's no, his no, biggest no, thing. No, it's now Okorocha because he's now. Now it's now Okorocha because can I can I interject one minute? All right, interject. I got to go there now. Start taking around now. Look, uh, I think I think we are not doing good at all to so start praising Okorocha against Obi. Obi have done better in the management of resources of the state, better than Okorocha. Okorocha bankrupt that state as at the time he was leaving office. And that is why you see EFCC around his neck. ESCC molesting him everywhere today because he has case to answer. Billion. Yes, so I've never seen I've never seen EFCC running after OB for so, I mean, mismanagement of uh, the resources of uh, EFCC uh, has questioned OB two or three times yes. for the two fifty yeah. million for the Pandora and also for one of the Disney cases. Go and check. Well, I know of the Pandora. I don't know of any other thing. But I've never the, seen him being The 250 million, it was petitioned. It was petitioned. I've never Anambra seen him being detained. It was, uh, it, 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 was, um, it was interrogated by the IGP at the time when he, were, when he looted the 250 million in cash. We read it here. <laughs> it, it, well, it, I've it, never it, seen him being detained by the EFCC. I've never seen him being tried by EFCC. Okorocha was using the state fund to fund his foundation. That one is established. They have that. So that guy was using the resources of the state to fund, to, fund, to fund his foundation. That is, that is a, 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 a corruption at its best right there. And uh, OB, OB Foundation has funded a lot of educational um, uh, institution, secondary school and some other things around that country. It's just because that guy doesn't make noise. It doesn't make noise like other politicians that uh, make noise. If he has been making noise, I've been showcasing this before this time, he will have, you know, be in a very better position to be bragging around that, oh, I have helped this, I have helped that. But he doesn't do that. Look, we might not support him, we might not like his candidacy, but to put Okorocha, to place Okorocha against, against Obi, I mean, that is very, that is the, that is the, the highest unfairness I can see we're doing here. It, it's I don't, not fair. I, I, let me push back a little bit. It, it's I don't not think fair. anybody, let me push back. Uh, I mean, you interject, let me interject. And you are saying Nobody, that even when it comes me, to election, let, you will let, vote for Okorocha. A man that back. has been established me, that he was stealing me, the state funds to fund his uh, to fund there's his no foundation. I mean, what are you guys, what are you guys no saying? Need for, for there's no need for righteous indignance here. There's no it is not righteous. What are you talking about? There's no single politician in black country that not like him. You might not like his candidacy. Not one of them. But for Not God's one of sake. them. So let, let's let's take that as a lowest common factor. All of them are thieves. All, no exception. The, what we are talking about is in emo state. I said that is what emo that state. is what you no, will say no, if you no are banking on that. That all of them are thieves. But to say, oh, state. Uh, but let's not uh, start uh, saying they, all this oli oli oli. There's no purity test there. No politician will pass a purity test. None of them. 
everybody just has different style, different packaging, or packaging their, their records and their way. They, they, they package differently. Obi has his own style. Okorocha has his own style. Okorocha may be so, more so voice strong. Like so, you can't but, compare Okorocha and Obi. There's no way you can compare two of them. That's an insult. I, I can compare them from a national appeal. Okorocha will get a lot of votes, I mean, in the North. Because Okorocha has done a lot in the North. They, because they have different styles doesn't mean you, well, you now say this is the Pope, uh, this is Cardinal Joseph, this is the devil, this, this, this. No, they all steal. All. None. It was only and, if you've not entered office that you've not stolen. So let's not, let's not stop all that nonsense. It's just the, it's, in terms of appeal. You must mingle with the other people. You can't say because somebody's trying okay. to mingle and spread the, with their wings. They are, they are now betraying your child. You can't say that. They have to, you have to expand beyond your, your base. You can't just say because the person is not joining the PC, all of a sudden he's betrayed these people. You can't, that's not fair to him now. That's not, you can't, let's, let's not do that. Even Tinubu was, they said, oh, he's not, he's not moving. Now he's almost becoming prisoner because, because what? He, he moved beyond the Yoruba stuff because he has to expand. If you want to win, you must move away beyond where you where you are based. You cannot just stay, become, become a South East candidate only. You will win anything. It, it limits you. It's my point. Don't 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 make it look like so. If you're, if you are leaving that place just to expand your your your, your political career, that means you are, you are betraying your people. You can have both together at the same time. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you'll be a terrible person, but let's not see the, uh, the other champions as evil. I'll uh, call them so, devil. No, no, let's not. No, do that. no, if you want to call all of them devil, that is fine. But right. to place one that oh. This one is better than the other. Uh, that uh, is why I say it is wrong. And you people, yeah. hold on. Hold on. You hold on. But you guys have been talking. I never, I just said I want to target. And then you people started jumping in again. You. So put them side by side. In the management of resources, who would you trust most between, between Okorocha and, and, um, and Obi? Okorocha bankrupt the state. What is the name of that uh, PDP guy that became the governor? He said it as at the time he came into the office. They looted every, even equipment in the offices, carpet in the offices, bathroom, um, uh, commode, everything, doors. They, they even looted the doors. They took some doors away. How out there, for God's sake, you can be so greedy to be looting, to be taking doors and carpet, expensive carpet. For God's sake, Obi never we, did that. Are we comparing whether you looted comp doors God, God, or you looted cars? I mean, looting, I mean, looting, looting is looting. Obi did not bankrupt an Abra state. It's all optics. Obi did not bankrupt an Abra state. I mean, you, you guys are just showing that. You, I mean, your your antagonistic of this guy just showing that you are. He just showing hatred in that in that regard. If you stole a door and you stole money, or you stole money and a door and you stole money, is it stealing? Stealing. This thing now. What, I mean, what are we talking about here? You get this uh, because somebody stole carpet and somebody stole rug. Then because someone stole carpet and one stole yeah, cat. This, and this one is carpet. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. And then you are placing um, that one above uh, the other. Exactly. It, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, you are man. placing your coroja against Obi. I mean, on top of Obi, that he, he performed, he did better. He did a person that is acknowledged Nobody as said that. the most no, corrupt I think, person I think you have, ever. You are listening up without to us with prejudice. Nobody is saying. Obese no, that is what you guys are saying. We're, we're that is what about, you guys are no, saying. No, 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 that's not what we're saying. That is what that's you what guys are saying. saying. Oh, no, 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 we no. said in Imo State. I said in Imo State, no God, as bad as you can call Okorocha, no governor in Imo State has performed as good as um, Okorocha in Imo State. And I asked for one person to name one person that's done better than Okorocha. And I've not since now, I've not been able to hear a single one. Nobody is saying um, um, an Ambra's performance versus Imo performance will be versus Okorocha. No, we're all talking about well, Okorocha being been the been national candidate. Anyway. They've not been lucky oh. that way. Like Okorocha being a national candidate, it will have an appeal. You now took it to say Obi versus Okorocha. It was not a conversation about Obi versus Okorocha in terms of performance. And then we talk about stealing. Stealing is stealing. Whether you steal one material plus cash or cash alone, it's still stealing. Okay, but Martin, this to you guys. Let's let's stop shooting ourselves in the foot politically, okay? Politics about give and take. It's not about purity. It's not, it's not a purity test. It's all I'm saying. Nobody. It, 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 it stole money, but it's running for president. Boy, was, boy was not holy. He ran for president. That is the name of the game. Look beyond what they have done. Look at what they can do for you in the future. That that's the way Nigeria politics is. That's the reality. 
But to be looking for to, to be looking for Saint Obi or Saint Jesus Christ to run for office is a waste of time. You're not going to get anybody to wait to to, to run up on your behalf. It's all. But my guy, my guy, the problem is that Imo people are saying that Korosha didn't do anything for them that affected their lives. That's the problem. Let's hear, let's hear from Blackley since he's just coming in before we run down. Blackley. Blackley. Okay. Um. <clears throat> No, we we'll do the the normal, okay. the usual two minutes. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Ovia, before you launch into it, let me just acknowledge Jaffa, who has uh, joined um, Kulata and Ayo in the by the coffee thing. So, so uh, thank you to all three. Uh, so you get an opportunity in the latter session, the people with the intentions, but not uh, the speed of movements to do it. So, uh, yeah, so Kulata uh, and... Uh, uh, the traditional two names um at Jafar and uh Ayo. So so thank you to all three. So back I to just, uh, I, 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 I got your link oh, uh, one man. Uh, there you are. Go 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 Obi, drop it. Go Obi, drop Obi, it. Do you hear that? You have you, you have crypto yeah. you, have, you have crypto link of you. You see did you see the, the, the crypto link? One man dropped the crypto link oh. and uh there's there's two there's yeah. actually support support us through via Kasha. Thank you there's all right so so there it is uh like, like i um you, you know where i'm trying to get to over here is to have at least maybe 15 people there about doing that maybe not on a daily basis but at least uh up to 15 names so 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 within that bulk there's a there's a regular revolving so uh but so far the regularity is from ayo uh at jaffa certainly so if there was a league table ayo and jaffa would be at the top of the table with uh Jaffa being Arsenal and Ayo being Man City. And what have have no, 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 no. Jaffa is Jaffa is NFDP. Uh, uh, that's Arsenal now. Is at the top. At, no, 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 that's the top <laughs> I forget, forget <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, no, thank you to all uh, to all three. So back to your view. Yeah, um, yeah, so let's do the, you know, the regular, the usual tradition. Two minutes for your candidate or two minutes for my candidate? Let's go with uh Vic, can I go first, please? Okay. Yes, thank you. Um, no one is holy. They are all thieves. Uh, I will end with that. Okorocha, uh, is still my best, best Igbo man living today. Uh, nobody can change my mind because I know what he did in my state, in Oyo State, taking people out of poverty, educating them to university level. Even when he has, he has not become a governor, I know that very good. So nobody can change my mind. Okurocha is still the best Igbo man living that I know. Because he cherish education. Thank you, my people. Uh, see you at the other side. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, who's volunteering again? Okay, let me go yeah. next. Um, this is an interjection. Now everybody will struggle to interject. Yeah, let me go next. Right. Uh, I, I don't. I don't even know how Okorocha <laughs> entered this topic. This is not even the topic we discussed. So, um, so, uh, I think, uh, let me go with what we discussed, like, uh, um, uh, one question. So, the the aim and all with the we the obedient, what we want that one wants to stick to the game, let's see how it ends. So, let him test his power. So, let's let's let all of us know what comes out of it. You understand? Because uh we somehow we don't want that alliance with uh, either pdp or apc we just want that fair part of it so that is one side then on the part of the the one that happened in those states that's just the beginning so another big one that happened people should watch out what's going to happen in lagos the day of campaigning the day of uh rally in lagos Watch out what's going to happen there. Oh, so Labour Labour will get governorship candidate for Lagos. Eh? They have, yes, they have there. So let's see how it goes. 
then uh, Okorocha is a non entity, so I don't want to talk anything about him. Guys, see you guys later. <laughs> so I don't know why they beef. Uh, how did they beef uh, people? Where we know who you know they say that's bracket with. <laughs> 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 That's not fair. <laughs> hey, Mama T. Uh, okay, so my close, my closing remarks, I'm going to do this one time and I will not address it again, is to address Kulata. Uh, we need to have the courage of our convictions in this political cycle is very important. I mean, because you were an SDP, you moved to K to, to OVS guy, and I asked you this morning, you told me point blank that you were undecided. I mean, the way you are going, you're going to end up supporting Colabiola very soon. So I won't blame you, but it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, you know, that is you, Nana. I'm disappointed, but I've come to that reality. So it's okay. I don't have any issues with you. I'm not happy with you, but that's the state. So I will let you be with your Colabiola pick, and I will look forward to who we will pick next. Uh, good night. Thomas, I, I'm coming to your country very soon. I'm coming to your country very soon. You're going to host me in Sydney. Just to let you know. Oh, my know. God. Uh, you don't like that man. Uh, I'm really not happy with him, but it is what it is. Let him do what he's doing right now. All right, good night. Everybody. Hey, Baba T, you there, America? Now. Come over to my other channel. Let's talk about uh, Donald Trump and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, oh the, the after hours, uh, glass goes. I mean, okay, now, no problem. No, my you come by, get, get my own channel too. You I didn't know, oh, send me the link. Now. Now. I didn't know, I, I didn't know you have you didn't, I, didn't I know, know. I know, I know, I know, get your contacts. Just, oh, just put it in the private uh, stuff. I'll reach out. I'll, so I'll let you know. Nah, nah, all my politics now. I think you can easily find it. That's the name of the channel. Oh, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... It, 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 no, no, if you know you find out because no oh, no yeah. subscribers that much. Maybe yeah, so we can have the, the American pol and discuss real politics like this Nigerian wala. But, uh, but, but to round up on this, to be trying to, to round up on the more serious note, guys, I am worried that there are still going to be major events that will change the landscape of, of things in Nigeria. So before February, we will still have some major things happen that I I, I am seeing in other 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 forms. I, I, let me disclose it now, but that really worries me. So until then, I I, I will just hold, you know, just be having this conversation. But uh, something is not right to me. Something just looks to, it's, it's a little bit off in my spirit. Maybe I'm just being too spiritual, but. Until then, I will just pray for Nigeria and pray for everybody there. You know, it's, it's not it's not going to be an easy tax. But God bless everybody, and I will see you later. On. Bye. Yeah, I'll put a link on the private like, private uh, chat. Yeah, Thomas. Uh, Babati. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, uptown. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. my two minutes here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, quickly. Um, yeah, on the Juan Quaso space, like I said before, he's not gonna drop. And in fact, as an obedient, I pray that he doesn't drop and I pray that he goes all the way <laughs> all the way to the ballots. Yeah. So yeah, so um yeah, and I wanted to sh uh in something real quick. There's something I, I said in on this platform. And I, I think I said it when we were having our private uh, interview over you. And uh, I, I sounded like a weird guy. I said that in addition to um, Ohaneze of the Southeast and um, Afeni Ferry of the Southwest, Pandef of the South South, and the Middle Boat Forum of the North Central, and I, I said that in addition to all those support will be has, the OB is also going to get the, RA, um, the support of the Ari World leadership. And it sounded like uh, that's weird, like what the fuck. But if you listen to the Oba of Benin yesterday, if you listen to his fuel speech, that was when he was talking to Dati because he, he was discussing about investigations he had made about Obi. That's where he raised the issue of the land that uh, Obi was giving lands and he rejected it. And he said, Obi, is that true? He told Obi that what he's asking him. He's asking him out of his own personal investigation because him, they say that Oba stay in the palace, but then they hear everything that is happening in the country. So that what he's asking him now is just for his for him to confirm before the royals too. But him already knows the answers to all the questions he's asking him because he has done his investigations. 
And then when he was talking to Dati, he told Dati that he owned by his university and all of that. And then he said that, he told Dati that, I, I, I heard, I know that Arewa leadership is also in support of your candidacy. Dati did not turn it and Oba just laughed and then continued what he's saying. So I'm saying it again, I repeat it again on this platform, that the Arewa leadership is going to throw their weight behind Obi in a matter of weeks. Thank you guys and see you in the next uh guardian thank you thank you Maga. mama uh, no i wanted to ask before you, uh, okay so you na uh, maybe american uh, babati you see are you see there yeah me yeah me i i i saw the link yeah, yeah. You, you want us to reunite like uh, an hour from now or later at night after the second show yeah i give me about let me know uh before the second show, like just put it uh before the second show when you start here, uh because I'm on call to like about seven. So when we, before the second show starts in the on the private stuff, when I, when I join, let me know. So I'll let you know if I can join or not. Once you start the second right, show right. for for one month, so I'll let you know. All right, well, 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 I'm still trying to bring on my guy, my Adewale guy. I've reached out to some people to bring him on on the platform. So I'm trying. I've not heard anything back one man. So if I hear anything, I'll let you guys know to bring him on too. Because at least the guy can stay with, for four hours with us. He loves, to, he loves to talk about his stuff a lot. So we can at least have him for three four hours and just have a long, lengthy discussion with him. So I'm trying. So I'll let you guys know. All right. Throughout to, to today, you've only said two things. One. The advice we gave Pulata, and now that you talk about the Adewale, as you literally no, 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 because K is no, no, because K is was supposed to be with us now. No, supposed to be with us interviewing the guy, but now that he's gone away, that I don't even know how to put him now when the guy comes here. What would you say? <laughs> no, no, but okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't, you don't Mara play, Prestige, <laughs> Mara Prestige, are you there? All right. Kulata, <laughs> sir, Babati, you, you they blackmail me. <laughs> this this week, I didn't even have time. I was so busy, I didn't have time to think about a lot of Niger stuff. But I, I just wondered how we even got to talking about Okorocha, like, and that got everybody passionate, especially me. I think it was when we we're talking about charity that Obi did charity, and I think Thomas now came to give testament for Okorocha. And then people started pushing back. So I think that's how we got to that space. It was not the comparison of Okorocha versus Obi in terms of like governance in the state. But I still maintain, as bad as you can say um, Okorocha was as a governor, no Imo state governor compares, uh, compares with Okorocha. So, and I know he's done a lot from his personal life before he even governed in the north and i didn't even know about the north southwest that uh, thomas is talking about so every i mean almost all of those candidates have some charitable deeds that they're doing but the only thing in that i can question is by doing charity if you know you have national ambition uh part of your roadmap when you're constructing your roadmap maybe 15 years or 10 years before you want to go for office part of it will be making sure you're donating money all over the place so you, you I mean, so you can be referred to as a charitable person. So, I mean, with that in mind, it, it means you cannot tell whether that is your own personal attribute or is your own Machiavellian political strategy to have a soft side where you're a humanist and where you're giving money to many people. So, but you cannot take what Okorocha, you cannot take it away from him. If he's giving a lot of people money, he's, he's done a lot of education. Because you don't like him, you can't take it away from him. Before, because you like Obi more than him, you can't take it away from me. And we shouldn't now start roping every single corrupt thing that he has done with his charitable deeds. Yes, there's no single Nigerian politician, not a single one. I'm sure 99.999% of them are corrupt in one way or the other. So th they are corrupt. So, But don't take away whatever he's done. Now, whether he did it for, as his own personal charity or he did it as his own... Uh, uh, ambitions to be president someday. I don't know, but I don't care. At least it's a charitable person. Same thing, Obi is a charitable person. That's good enough for me. Uh, as far as uh, Babati, my blackmail, you you print, you push me to the wall now. Because I was thinking, like, who have not, I've not come out 
frontally for Atiku for like a week. I've not done that before. First time I joined this platform, I defended Tinubu's record. So I can say at least I've defended Tinubu before. The only person I've not defended is Atiku. But Atiku is so difficult to defend. But I think I need to get, give myself time. We're going to think of how Atiku can be a good president for Nigeria. I like Atiku's plan because it favors my own right of the center politics. So naturally, I align with his plan. But the man himself, the person, <laughs> that's a problem. So maybe I would like to explore that space. I hope nobody batters my head before I get out of that one week. So I think I'm going to try and research Atiku more. Uh, it's so difficult for Atiku. Kulata. Kulata. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, please, do not put Okoracha and Obi in the same sentence. Why Ever. not? Why Ever. not? Now, Why not? Based on charitable different... No, based on charitable Now I'm talking. Now. No, no. Why not? Someone must hear someone. Where is Tom? I is think he true? left. He left. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why you won't say Okorocha did not do charity because you don't like him. That's just weird and wrong. Uh, like, you don't like him. You maybe like he's. Him. Well, I was curious to hear his argument. I'm sure he was for Obi in place of Okorocha. Yeah, but well, also, you have to you have to differentiate philanthropy with politics. With politics, like, it's not mutually exclusive. This thing is not mutually exclusive. The fact that Obi did philanthropic deeds doesn't take away from Okorocha doing philanthropic deeds. It's just kind of weird to me. You hate Okorocha doesn't mean it can't be philanthropic. Whether it does it for the right intentions or not, that I mean, I don't know, and I'll probably never know. But, but in terms anyway. of politics, I would rate Okorocha over Obi anytime, any day. I know uh, Ajan Lekoko is listening to me. Don't don't crucify me yet. Just hear me out. Uh, first of all, how did Okorocha come into limelight in Nigerian politics? Let, let's talk politics first before philanthropy. Uh, and how did Obi get into politics? Obi did on the back of Ojuku when he joined Abga, anointed to be Anambra state governor uh, before he left Abga to PDP and then to the Labour Party. So it was a smooth sail for him. I mean, Anambra was the heart of Abga at that time and arguably still is. For Okorocha, he came in uh as an abga candidate also but before then he contested presidency sorry make it sure okay before then he contested presidency against muhammadu buari he lost to buari um uh and then he went uh, after he lost to buari he went back to to contest as emo state governor Abga had no single councillor in Imo State. Abga had no single chairman of any local government. They had no, no commissioner, no state house of assembly member. He went in, defeated an incumbent governor by the name of uh, Ikedi or Hakim in Imo State. I mean, that's, that's history right there. No governor has been able to do that. Having no structure, the same no structure they're accusing Obi of. Okorocha pulled it off. With zero structure, he defeated an incumbent in Imo State. So politically, I'll put Okorocha ahead. Why? Because Obi's sail into the governorship seat was smooth and it was arranged for him. For Okorocha, he fought it out. Uh, starting from presidency, came back to uh, as governor, fought it out and got in office. Now, in terms of philanthropy, of course, Okorocha is unmatched, not just with Obi. Any politician in Nigeria, Okorocha can compete with favorably in terms of philanthropy. Why? Because of his spread. Uh, of course, in the North, Zaria, Kano, Jos, different parts of the North, he has an educational foundation. So this is somebody very passionate about education. Uh, in the South also, there's a lot of Okorocha Foundation, and not just in the Southeast. You find that in the Southwest as well. 
So in terms of philanthropy, you have to give it to Okorocha, like no doubt about it. In terms of corruption, that one you cannot exempt any Nigerian politician. So the, 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 the argument shouldn't be who's more corrupt, because if you're going to use corruption as the ad stick, all, none of them, none of them will come out clean. That's my submission. All right. <clears throat> I should, I'll go with it. And uh, I don't go. Of you. Yeah. You don't try today. I said. You don't. You don't. You don't try. You don't work hard. You won't go relax. I've been mean, aware you go now. <laughs> they don't prepare you small. Uh, and this will be matter. Uh, which day we go? Which day we go? Stop this thing, safe. <laughs> anyway, before we leave, look. Um, I am not disputing the fact that uh, Okorocha uh, is a good uh, philanthropic. Uh, particularly in the area of education. He has sponsored a lot, he, has, he, he used his uh, uh, foundation to sponsor a lot of people. The give scholarship, sponsor a lot of people abroad and to have education in Nigeria. That is good. But where I have problem with him is when he was a governor and he started stealing the state fund to fund his uh, philanthropic uh, Well, anyway, thank you everyone for turning up at the comment section. Thank you, Mr. Alexandra. I uh, know the minister and everyone else. Those who could not make it into, onto the screen today, uh, Joel and uh, the Afro Nation, that's the Charles, Mona Nubes. You guys are a little bit late, so we're handling the show already. And we get ready for one man show in about two hours, 30 minutes from now. Until then, on our politics. Stay free. Uh, Ovi, let's give the final word to. Um, oh. To Okay. Uh, to Alexander Gomez, uh, since he stand up, uh, Alexander Gomez. Yeah, um, over here. Thank you for what you do, engaging people. Thank you for that trait of yours that I, I absolutely adore. The ability to reach, to relate to every Nigerian for wherever you come from. It makes you it makes your presentation a standout, actually, because you know most places in Nigeria. And not a lot of Nigerians can say that. This is why I have a problem with that country called Nigeria. We just are an artificial state living together, just barely tolerating one another's excesses. Um, I know Ghana very well. I know why they are what they are today because of the unity of purpose they all have as a country, as a, as a citizen of a country, uh, a citizens of a country rather, part of my French. We don't, we, we don't have that. And that breaks my heart that, that that's missing. And I, I believe that 95% of what we're going through today is because of that. But the, the main problem with us as a people is corruption. Everything takes secondaries, uh, takes second place. Corruption, the level of corruption in that country is just, it's just spellbinding. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable the way, the way Nigerians, the way they spend, the way they, they, they steal, the ability to wear a million dollar watch without hesitation. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, we need to have 
a change in mindset. One man, my love to your kids. I can hear them screaming at the background. Um, that we need to have a sense of patriotism, and that's lacking. We need to respect each other as a people. Yoruba, respect Igbo, Igbo respect Hausa, and all the major ethnic groups that, that people call minority groups, from, from uh, Benin all the way to, to the northern part of Nigeria. Um, I, I really like this platform. It stimulates me, it excites me, it keeps me company. Sometimes I, I stay on it, and I really, especially the daytime stream, because nighttime, I start working three o'clock in the morning. So uh, sometimes when you're streaming at night, one man, I doze off, but I, I tend to work, watch the playback in the morning. But uh, if OVA, I get to watch at the background and work at the same time. Uh, you have a wonderful platform here, uh, 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 one man, OVA. You guys, you guys are doing a good job, and I'm proud to be a part of this platform. But essentially, moving forward, let's respect each other's opinion. Let's understand that's nothing personal. It's just a submission and assertion. No one is playing God over here. So that's the that's my last bit to give. Okay, thank you, OVA. Thank you, one man. Thank you very much, Mr. Alexander. Ah. Ah. God bless. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, uh, that is the last word from uh, Mr. Alexander. Professor Dr. O, I know you want to come in, but you are late. So that's the punishment for coming late. <laughs> Look at the private chat. Follow my link. We'll talk me now. One man will come on in about uh, one hour, in about two hours. So if you go, if you just chill, it's out of the anyway. I know you are not going to work, Mr. Provider. So wait for in another two hours and you join the, the conversation again. So I right, to everyone who's watching, yes, we're coming back again in the next two hours and uh, promise to be more engaging and firecrack as usual. Until then, stay free. Hello, my country people. Let us jump Papa Tini Boo to rock this little dance when they dance. I bet me na call na me will call dance with Oga Tini Boo. <laughs>